I'm over here now these days. <laughs> if I move my webcam. So I'm not used to it. Oh, I'm not used to being as close either. Oh, goodness me. Um, but hello, everyone. Anyone that's here now. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be playing Tomb Raider Legend, which is so much fun because Legend is just silly, goofy nonsense. And I think it's going to be really enjoyable. So I hope everyone's having a lovely week. It's been a really long week for me. I'm glad that it's over. We're at the weekend now, and we can enjoy some gaming shenanigans. Uh, I haven't streamed for like two weeks, and it was nice to have a small hiatus, but I'm back, and we're going to stream a bit more often. Ah, oh, Romeos! Oh, I know! Up close and personal, I know. It's a bit much. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, really, really excited to play Legend. Um, how has everyone's last two weeks been? It's been a little while since I streamed, so I don't know what everyone's been up to. Um, Harry! Oh, Harry, I'm so glad you're here as well. I've missed you too. <laughs> oh, you're a legend as well. I was, I wanted to ask if you were in the chat, um, how the move was going and if you were in your new place yet and how you're doing with that and I hope it's all going well. Um, but yeah, what's everyone been up to in the last two weeks? Because it's been a little while. I got my thirds done. I got my, some piercings on my lobes, so I'm really jazzed about those because I love having pretty earrings. I love it. Um, but yeah, we may as well jump straight in really. Let's turn off, off that. Let's open Tomb Raider Legend. And uh, I'm just so happy to see all your lovely faces shining back at me once again. Oh, I'm glad, Harry. I didn't make a... Um, a YouTube post about it, and I probably should have, but I I thought, oh, maybe I, I don't know, I, I left it too late, I left it too late, to be honest. Oh, in a second, oh, cool, that's coming up soon then. Oh, how exciting. Oh, I hope it's all going really well. I'm worried you can hear, like, Tomb Raider in the background, and I've not opened up the thing yet. I think this is the one I clicked on. I'm out of the loop with the with the streaming. I'm not used to doing this. I'm hoping that's gonna work nicely. If it's too loud as well, please let me know too. Oh cool with modding controls, Romeos. Oh incredible. Oh cool, Romeos, I'm glad. Oh I'm glad that the modern controls have worked out for you. I know that the patch had kind of addressed the modern controls a little bit. I've not played much of the remastered trilogy since the update, so I don't know too much about how it's going. Oh, Brefix is here! Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, it's so lovely to have you. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you're here. And yeah, we're on Legend, which is fun. It's going to be so silly. <laughs> this game is so much fun. So I'm excited to get into it. And do let me know if it is too loud, please. Goth Diva! <laughs> it's not much. It's chipped is so chipped as hell like they're so bad but uh i do need to redo them i even brought my like some stuff to work so i could do it at work some nail stuff uh just because it, it was so shocking i just didn't have time well i did have time i just my sleep schedule was a bit funny croft manor <laughs> The thing is, I can go in Croft Manor, but it's, um, you can't do the whole thing until, um, until you've finished Legend. L Legend? Bolivia. See, I can't explore until I finish Bolivia, which I think is a bit silly. I don't know why they did that. Oh, the Cornwall level is really cool. Yeah, it's probably, well, I don't know if it's my favourite level. I think, um, Japan is my favourite level. I don't know if it's just me, but the graphics look kind of crap. <laughs> Tip polish is grunge, it kinda is. That's what I'm going for. Um Bolivia. Yeah, I need to play Bolivia first, and then we can run around and have have some fun. But I don't know why, like there's no shadow. Oh, there there's her shadow. I was really confused why she didn't have a shadow. Like she looked really out of place. I wanted to make some videos this weekend too. But I wasn't sure when or what, like what to make 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 a video about. 
There is. Last time I played this. Ooh. Oh no, actually I played Legend quite recently on PS3, like last year. So it's been not too long since I played Legend last. I know this game very well. I can 100% this game tonight. Easily. Um, there are two graphics modes, and I can turn the other one on. But I don't think I like it. Like, it doesn't look right to me. This isn't the legend that I know. Because I grew up on the PS2, so, you know, obviously this does look... It looks better. But this isn't the legend that I know. Know and love. What's funny about legend is, I remember when, um... I remember when my brother and I, we got our PS2 for Christmas. Must have been Christmas Day, like, 2007, maybe? Um... And I finally played Legend for the first time on Christmas Day, and I was so excited about it. It was awesome. <laughs> Early 2000s smoky eye. It's true. This Lara is so gorgeous. She looks so good. I'm gonna... I think this is just very nostalgic for me, so we'll, we'll keep it on this. Also, I, I want to... Um, the camera is a bit a bit much. Camera. How do I change S mouse speed? Well, how do I do that? Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll try a little bit. The thing is with the next generation is it, um, I know that it gets, it, if you have it turned on, it goes a bit buggy, uh, during, um, like, I think it's Kazakhstan levels. It goes a bit buggy. So we just need to be aware of that as well. An analog PC controller. I've got my PlayStation. I can, I could, I could plug that in. But, um, I just don't really like using it that much. Oh no. Okay, I found a bug. A really weird bug. <laughs> just when I opened up my game... I did a test run, and look, the game is frozen now, I don't know why. Control configuration for mouse speed, okay, we'll try that. But for some reason, the game has crashed. Lord, help me, I don't know why. It looks like Legend will be as buggy as Tomb Raider 4, if not more! So... Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about that. Like, I can't do anything here now. It's all just screwed up. Um, bear with me. Uh, stop. The fatal error. Well, that's not good, is it? I wonder if anybody knows what that could be. Last Revelation, it was well, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was um not quite as fun for me to play, I think, just because I had played it recently. Um so I'm more excited to play to play Legend for sure. Okay, we should be back up and running. And I'm so excited to play Underworld. I'm even more excited to play that than than anything else. So That'll be the big one. You've never played Legend, Harry? What? What? You've never played it? It's so good. But it's so great. Oh, Brefix, that's a great point. So the, the backing on the backpack is going to end soon. Um, yeah, I reckon. I don't think that's going to get made. <laughs> That backpack is not getting made. What am I doing? There we go. Aha! Well done! Thank you, Brefix. I found it. Let's give it a comfortable four. I'm sure that'll be good. Also, please let me know if it's too loud, but I'm going to see if I can try not to alt-tab again, because I think my game will crash if I do that. I think last time I checked on the backers for the backpack, it's on like 800 backers or something. Which is not enough. Not enough at all. We need like a thousand. Two thousand five hundred, something like that. It's not getting made. 
it's not getting made. That would be a nice refund when I get that come through. That would be nice. I could do with that money. Any more updates, Romeos, do you mean for the remasters? I think so. They'll do some more updates, I'm sure. Um, it sounds to me like the game wasn't made, you know, they didn't have enough time to make it. So I think <laughs> it's the age old, oh, we'll just update, patch it later with all the stuff we didn't have enough time to do. Modern gaming. Ah, oh, Harry, you got to, definitely. What are you going to try first when you set everything up? Okay. Let's crack on. Start game. I'm playing on medium, I'm sorry. The only thing the difficulty changes is how how tough the enemies are, and I don't need them to be tough. I'm not interested in that. To made a legend! Ah, oh, It just feels like a nice warm hug playing this game. I am fierce. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. I shouldn't like it either. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's awesome. Cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. I really thought when I played these when I was um, a wee babby that it was just Angel of Darkness Lara carried over. And I was like, oh my god, she's so cool still. <laughs> she's the same person. <laughs> this, do you mean how long this game will take me? I'll finish this game tonight. Easily. Oh, Harry, is that true? <laughs> uh, that's fair enough. I thought so, Romeo's. <laughs> I thought so. I was like, are you trying to clock me right now? Yeah, oh, Rich, hi. What would give you that idea? Oh, Rich, I've got a funny story about that. I'll tell you in a second. But I'm glad you're here as well. Thanks for joining. Really, Zip. It's like going up a set of stairs. Oh, how great is Legend? Yeah. Back so soon. From Florence, wasn't it? What are you doing in Bolivia? Here we've got Refik's favourite moment. I'm taking a little how do you say picture for Instagram? Well, Not that I have one. And an old friend working in La Paz is tipped me off that a rather promising. It's not about stamina, Refix, it's just that easy. This is such a short game. It's unbelievable. Oh well. Oh, oh Rich, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed your message. But yes, hello. Yeah, Romeo, I agree. The new gen version looks a bit funny. I don't know why she does look like that, but she just kind of does. Hang on. How do I do this? I want it to look cute. Do you think this is cute for the gram? I think so. Uh, yeah, so Legend, I was so... I played a hundred, hundred times over when I was much younger, and I remember being so excited for Underworld, and I didn't have, you know, any next-gen consoles, I only had the PS2, and then when Underworld finally came for PS2, I was like, what the hell is this? This looks terrible! <laughs> and Legend looked better! And it came out years before, I couldn't believe it. All of LAU in three hours! I mean, there are shortcuts I know, but I couldn't do it that quickly. I can finish Legend in three hours, definitely. We're going to get all the secrets too, because I know where they all are. I'm trying to figure out if this speed I like, I don't know. I think this needs to be faster. 
I don't know, Lara having an Instagram would be so funny. I don't know if you guys know Megan Marie, she's the um, senior community manager for Tomb Raider. She's been traveling the world over and I love following her on Instagram. She's got um, really great photos of all of her travels, at least she used to. I don't know what she posts these days, but... <gasps> Harry, you haven't even played Underworld? Oh my god! Well, you've got to play Legend first, because we start with Legend. Look how good she looks! She's so pretty! It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Yeah. I do want to know a fun fact, Romeos. Yeah, I'm very familiar with this game. I will not be getting lost or stuck. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it will be very, very quick. I was thinking I really want to play Underworld, like the PS2 version and the PC version. Oops, I kind of messed up there. I'll have to figure out some way to do an emulator um, for, for the PS2 version. I think it would be really fun to play because I haven't played that. I haven't played that version since the first time I played it when I was very, very young. When you say someone in, is playing that game, do you mean a dev? Because it's true, it's funny to think that Someone out there knows what the game looks like. Obviously the devs. So, what can we talk about with Legend? Okay, so this game came out in 2006. Obviously, when it came out, I was far too young to really realise anything that was going on. I hadn't realised that Core Design had no longer been in charge of Tomb Raider anymore. I didn't realise that, I was too young. So I just thought this was a continuation of Tomb Raider uh, into the new generation. I hadn't realised that there was a changeover of company or anything. And it, it never bothered me either. I never noticed, it never bothered me. It was just, this is another Tomb Raider game, let's have fun. The Wii version. I have the Wii version of Underworld, but I've not actually played it, I don't think. So that could be fun, maybe if I find a way to get the Wii version. That'd be so stupid on stream. Maybe like a like a birthday stream or something, I could do that. That would be so stupid. I don't know, Romeo, that's a great question. I don't know anything like that. Maybe, um... I wonder how they found her. She's a great Lara. I know she's probably people's favourite, Lara. It's deliberate. And she's definitely one of my favourites. She's probably close second after Janelle. Um, sometimes she can be a little bit too like breathy, if you if you see what I mean. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah, that's true, Rich. I feel like a lot of people weren't really... Maybe people weren't paying attention. Um, I was very young, so I don't... I don't know myself. Oh, they heard me jumping. Oh no, could she just do the thing, please? There we go. Oh yeah, Lara has Matrix moves in this game. I think that's kind of hilarious. I think Brefix is because people weren't used to so many changes, maybe, from the core design era. Um, they just didn't like the... the Panasta. I never found them to be an issue, really. I'm kind of... I don't know. I can see them doing a similar thing for future Tomb Raider games though. I feel like Naughty Dog has ruined the industry where your protagonist can't exist unless they're being paced by some other NPC with 
countless dialogue. They're like, you must have a character with you at all times to have these meaningful dialogues, otherwise your character is an ice queen. So I feel like that's what they're going to do from now on. Oh, is that right, Romeos? I never played those games. Has have you played them, or has anyone played them here? Because I I've never never done them. I don't know if they're any good. I do feel bad for fans of that series that you know Crystal has completely ignored them and has just made Tomb Raider games since two thousand six. Oh, and Avengers. We don't talk about that. Yeah, Rich, I kind of agree. I don't know if you've ever played the game Wet. I've never played it, but I know that this combat is kind of interesting with, like, the slowed time and, like, the acrobatics and stuff. It's a game I really want to play, actually. I'm not sure if it's available. Oh! I don't think it's available on PC. I'm not sure. But I wonder if they could do stuff like that for the next game. I want the dual pistols to return, 100%, and I just wonder if they can do some fun acrobatic moves again. I just wonder if this type of combat is too too generic for today's audiences. We're probably going to go back to the third person shooter style that we used to used to have in a reboot. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I've never played them, Legacy of Kane. I have no idea what it's even about or or anything. Those games must be old now. They must be like 25 years old over. Look how slow she is. <laughs> it's crazy when you think this game is like... Is this game... How old is this game? Not quite 20 years old, but near it. Near 20 years old. It's crazy. I love Legend. It's great. Great fun game. It's not very Tomb raider -y, um, in terms of like exploration and puzzles and stuff, but it is good fun. Yeah, wet. It's like a western style game, but it's set in China. It's really interesting. Um, I would like to play it. It came out around the same time as this game, like kind of uh, late 2000s. Oh, it sounds fun. Maybe I should look into it and play it one day. But also, I feel like Crystal Dynamics gets enough promotion from me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I hope we get combat like this again in the future. Just more bombastic flips and stuff for no reason. I never knew what was the point of this this little hole here. What am I what is this for? I don't think it's for anything important. Let's not worry about that. Yeah, it looks cool, Rich. You should look into it. Maybe I'll um play it one day if I manage to get it on PC. But I don't know if it's on Steam. Maybe I'd have to emulate it, but I don't really like doing that stuff. I feel like it's immoral. Just a goody two shoes. Ah, did they? Do you know about the um about what happened with Underworld? I think another company called Buzz Monkey works on the Underworld port, and it was so bad, but I kind of think it's hilarious legacy content that I'm really interested in.
Yeah. I don't really like how they look. They look a little bit too polished, and Lara looks really different in the next gen version. I'd rather stick to these graphics. I think they look much nicer. Much healthier. And a pissy. Also, the flips are so fun. We need the flips back. I want Lara doing acrobats again. So badly. <laughs> on DS. That's right. I think I do have it on DS as well. It's very bad. And it was also on Game Boy Advance. This game was on every console. They were like, Lara's back and you're gonna play her. She's on every console, you have no excuses. But PS2, that was my, my jam back in the day. My favorite console. <laughs> exactly right, Harry. It's how she gets around, you know? She doesn't run. She flips. I miss the flips. They're the best. She needs to be doing that stuff again. Back flipping over tigers and mountains and all sorts of silly nonsense. I miss it all. Okay, I've not played the phone version, but that's funny. I never played any of the mobile versions of Tomb Raider. I, I have no idea if even what they look like or play like. I imagine they're not very long, actually. But that's funny. Ah, uh, that would be so hard to implement. Although I have seen some level editor builders manage to do that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's not impossible, I guess. Like animations wise they could always add it if they wanted to but I guess it doesn't really serve a gameplay function um I was thinking like oh it's not doing what I want it to oh no oh this is right this is right um stop it about there oh no hang on other way other way other way I was thinking like ways they could implement the like leaps and dodges to be like an actual mechanic in the game. So it actually has like a gameplay function and I was like well maybe if she's like doing the backflips and dodges and stuff it, you take less damage if you get hit or like you're you don't you don't take you know as many bullets I don't know something like that could have been interesting. Okay, we want the gold secret in this room. It's all the way up there. So we're gonna stop this thing around there. Do you reckon I can make that? No, let's do one more. I I should be able to make that. Let's try that. Ah, Smash Lara, my favorite. Hello. How are you? You're most welcome. You're most welcome, family. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I am a pro, after all. Honestly, you can just treat this as a walkthrough, because I'm going to be 100 presenting this game. So... I should rephrase the title from playthrough to walkthrough, because this game will be finished. Let me see if I can get the gold secret first before we go any further, because I might need to come back down. Ah, yeah, boy. I can get it. Let's go. Also, I debated putting mods on, on this game. Uh, I decided not to, at least for now. Maybe later, after I finished it, if we do want to go back and replay something, then we can put some mods on. But I thought, let's keep it vanilla for now. Thank you. Oh my god. I just washed it. <laughs> like, just literally. 
I haven't dyed it yet. I knew I said that I was going to, but then I had a customer at work tell me that my hair looked really nice, and I was so gassed at the compliment that I was like, oh my god, never mind, I'm not dyeing my hair. I feel really great. Although, you know, it already looks very dark anyway, on camera. In person, it's more dirty blonde. But thank you. Thank you. Oh, I should install the mod, though, that takes off the quick time events. Oh well, we're here now. <laughs> it's true. It's one of those things. The backflips and everything, it's just a staple of the of Lara's character, just like the handstand. You, you believe that Lara reboot Lara, she's not done a single handstand. Terrible. I won't forget Croftman or Romulus. It'll be a nice treat at the end once we finish the game. We can go back and play Croftman. It's nice to know that a lot of people probably got into the franchise by playing this game first. I imagine this is actually a very good springboard for a lot of people's first games. In fact, I know a lot of people from school had played this game of all Tomb Raider games. This was the one that they had played. This is silly. It's a good one to start with, I think. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't give a good representation of the franchise as a whole, but it is silly, goofy nonsense, and that's fun too. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do smash. <coughs> I think the quick time events are actually cool. I know a lot of people hate quick time events, but um, I think it's more fun than watching just a regular cutscene sometimes. Oh, Romeus, yeah, this was a Christmas present. <laughs> I hadn't, I think, I don't think I got it the year that it came out. I think it probably was the Christmas after. I was quite late to the party because we didn't have a PS2. Um, but I got this game, yeah, for Christmas, Christmas Day, like 2007. Um, and I was so excited. It's probably the most memorable Christmas present, or the most, most memorable Christmas uh, of my childhood, just getting a PS2 and getting this game. And we got the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, I think that's what it's called. And that game got a remaster. Lara, have you found anything for the fire? Leopard skin to a Vegas suit. It's true, this is the origin story. This just proves that she got this, um, made this game... Oh, I was trying to say something, but I'm just gonna forget it. The music in this game is awesome too. What's there? Charles Folman doesn't get enough credit for his soundtrack on this on these games. This trilogy is actually excellent. It's beautiful. No, I don't know if I've got any photos of me holding it. Ah, no, I don't think I do. Actually, it's worth worth asking. I'm probably going back to my parents' place next week for Easter, so if I do find any Tomb Raider uh, memories, photos, then I'll... maybe I'll share them. I think it could be good fun. I didn't play the remake Romeo's, but I considered it because I remember playing the original. I know it was good fun. Oh, Amanda is so slay. I kind of want to cosplay Amanda. I think that would be so much fun. The collision is a bit bad on this bridge. Have you found a piece of this? I don't know who would hate on this game. This game's awesome. They do look a bit simsy. 
But this was a great era. I just remember when this game came out, I was like also around about the time that I started going on YouTube. Maybe like the year after. And I remember watching like Sims movies, <laughs> fan movies of Tomb Raider and stuff. It was funny. Young Lara, do you mean in the, in the flash? Oh, oh, in that flashback sequence. I should have looked. I should have paid attention. We'll see how I get another cutscene. <laughs> She's got a big head. Oh, the soundtrack is awesome. This is so badass. I <laughs> just kicked him. Amanda cosplay for Darby. I was thinking of what I would wear to Darby. I had ideas. I don't want to share them uh, on here because <laughs> who knows what I'll do for it. Um, but I am planning uh, to do Comic Con in London in May. Um, so I've been planning my costumes for that too. I think I've got a good idea of what I'll be doing. Uh, so that will be fun. That'll be good fun. Ah, hi, King! I'm gonna call you King. I believe that's how you... Or Canine, I suppose. But how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. I hope you're having a lovely day. Yes. Yes. All right. Who was that? I prefer the way the, this this version looks. Well, you just met the I love this monitor that's turned off. Went to West Point and that's about all he's done. I prefer how Legend looks like this. This looks better to me. Way much way better to me. I'm so happy playing this game. Just configured differently. Identical to what? Something I saw a long time ago in the I know, I know. I have to use my other backpack. I think I did show it. you believe this to be on a video once? This is my other backpack. It's huge. It's massive. And it smells amazing. It smells it's very le very leathery because it's real. But I love it. I'm so obsessed with my backpack. So I'll have to be using this one instead. Go over these images and see what you can work out. Zip. Bring Anaya and see if she can meet me in Paraiso Saturday morning. I'm gonna call you King if you don't mind. I think King is more fun. I like how that sounds. Hi King. Oh, excuse me, I just burped. Hope you didn't hear that. What phone did you get? It is very big. Um, what's your new phone? I kind of want one of those, um, Samsung flip phones, but, um, I'm worried that it doesn't last very long, or I don't know what the, um, lifetime on it is, or that kind of thing. Plus, it's a little bit gimmicky. It's very expensive for a gimmick, so I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're gonna kick the football. We're gonna get a goal. Goal! That's the only time I've ever played football in my life. <laughs> I'd like to believe it's a reference to, um, Pastor Clara. No! Or maybe Zip is just very, uh, very in denial, I don't know. Zip has, um, I'm sw I swear Zip has a post-it note that says something about, like, fix, fix camera in Lara's bedroom or something. Something really creepy. ZTE Blade V50. I've never even heard of that. I've never even heard of that. Is it iPhone or Android? That's what my, that's... <laughs> I'm about as useless with phones as I am with cars. Like, my friends will say... Oh, I got a Ford Focus, and I'm like, so is it black or blue? Hello, Lara. 
Yeah, I love the the football Easter egg too. I couldn't possibly call it soccer. Sorry, that's not that means nothing to me. I love Anaya. Oh my god. Hi Anaya. Littered with the bodies of old friends. If I knew this was where it would lead, I would never If anybody needs to come back in the unified timelines, it's Anaya. La Paz is not so far away. Neither is the past. Okay, this gate energy here is I could cut it with a knife. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. It's a good thing that Uber has the um, uh, registration plates, because otherwise I'd be screwed. I'm like, you may as well put a picture of a goat as, as a picture of the car. I don't, I don't care what the car looks like. It makes no difference to me. It's true, this game does have a lot of personality. I just miss this version of Crystal, like... This version of Crystal is making great games. Alright, alright, I'll pick the gun up. I'll pick the gun up. Stand and shoot, stand and shoot. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Okay. Anyone left? Anyone left? Ha! Ha! Alright, alright. Show's over. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, King. I've got a Google Pixel with this old ass case and I really need to get a new one. One day I just woke up and my phone just wouldn't turn on. And it was horrendous. And it made me realize, damn, I really do just live on my phone. And I had to buy a phone the very next day. I was like, I, I can't do this. I need a phone. I got this one. And it's fine. <gasps> oh, Harry, that is a vibe. You're right. Harry. Both Harrys. Wait, there's another guy here. Bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Told him. Legend is fun and epic and awesome. I love Legend. I love that it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just like, it's just silly, goofy nonsense. It's my favorite type. It's my favorite type of game. She got away. I've never heard that before. Oh, I like your I like your glasses. Do you see her? I've never heard NPC dialogue like that before. This is so funny. Has he lost me? Ow, ow. You could have really hurt me. That's funny. Oh, I like this rug. Damn, where do you think they got it from? I don't remember this in the Ikea range. Oh, this looks like a Clockland though, so I don't know. Or is it a Billy? No, this is the Billy bookshelf. Sorry, sorry. No blanket? Damn. Peru is pretty though. When are we going to talk about the remaster for these games though? Shh. Screw Tomb Raider 4. We don't need a Tomb Raider 4. I'm just kidding. But I want a Legend remaster too. <laughs> Urban Outfitters. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Hundred percent, and you know what? They probably charged like two hundred pounds for it. Urban Outfit is horrid, horrid pricing. But I actually love shopping there. This T-shirt I'm wearing is from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Ooh, because I apparently have too much money. You're right, Smash. You're right. See, 
This is why you're the professional and I'm just the peasant boy. It's why you're the you're the working man and I'm just the housewife. Ah, that's cute. That's cute, King. Can you just open the door, please? Excuse me. But I do want a shotgun. Did you hear that? How did he die? What the flip? Crikey. How do I swap guns? This button. Oh no, the Ford Focus! Oh, hello. I don't like to shoot them, but I do like to kick them in the balls. Ugh, ugh. Oh, don't pick up that gun. That's gun's rubbish. Oh my god, shotgun OP. What the fuck? One hit kill. This is incredible. <laughs> I'm just such a vandal. My goodness. I suppose it is rich. I love Underworld too. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is so buggy. What the hell? Why did he die? How do I throw a grenade? G. Why do they keep killing themselves? These are the worst mercenaries ever. Sibuska. Well, this poster was so important they put three of them up in a row. I wonder what this pers what this says. Hmm. What's in here? Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, I need to get secrets. Yes, there's one here. Alright, let me just have a think. Let me just have a think. Pause! <laughs> so real. Ah, <laughs> oh, hi, Jaren. Ah, uh, yeah, Keely Hawes. She did a really great job with, with this version of Lara. I know she's a lot of people's, like, ultimate favourite Lara. She's definitely up there for me. She's not my ultimate favourite, but she's she's great. She's awesome. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that's a good point, um, Smash Lara, because she also did a lot of lines for Call of Duty. She, like, re-recorded lines from, um, like, the classic era that she wouldn't have spoken before. Um, she had lots of really cool lines. Oh, hi, Nathan. Oh, yeah, I saw his post too, yeah. Um, all of that looked really interesting too. I hope that he gets quite far with it. I do feel quite sad sometimes when I see these demos that people put together for, like, a remaster on Tomb Raider or, like, a remake that they've made in Unreal Engine. And I know it's just, like, their own time that they're spending on it, but they never seem to get very far. I mean, they're not very professional, are they? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's great to, to see what people do. It's just a joke, it's just a joke. Oh, I have Romeo's, I have seen that one. Pause. <laughs> I, I know exactly the one you're talking about. Now I need to think about where the remaining rewards are. Okay, I can think of one, one there, one there, one there, one there. I feel like there's another one I need to find in this area. I can visualize roughly where they all are. Oh, Amber, hi! Hi, Amber, hi, Amber. My absolute favorite. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely evening. Did you get some nice food? I did end up ordering food in the end. I had Kokoro. Oh, how naughty of me. How naughty. Who's this fella? <laughs> I have a funny story. I live um, fairly close to like an old English pub. And there was a big mural of Winston Churchill on the side of it. And it's been painted over. <laughs> with the plane and I just thought it was really funny I was like oh poor Winston Churchill I guess we're down with um, down with the politics it's a no from us 
Well, we're just going to keep going. I'm sorry. Peru is probably like such a boring level for me. We're just going to keep going and uh, we'll find the rewards. We'll find them. We'll find them. Kokoro is tempting. I haven't ordered from Kokoro in forever as well. I wasn't that impressed, to be honest. I don't know. I wasn't, wasn't feeling it. I know I did say it's Smash. I know I did say that. I'm sorry. I can't use the, the the mouse just does not move in this. Okay, I guess we're not moving the camera. Yeah, what is the truth? <laughs> I love you both very, very much. Okay. I knew this would become an issue. The moment I said it. The music here is awesome. Oh my gosh, can you guys have an intervention for me? <laughs> this level is vibes, you're right. I like that they... I feel like they took a lot of inspiration from the movie for like... the way the soundtrack is and stuff, it's just very like... electronic and very 2000s and... I love it. It's hard to read the chat because I'm worried that I'm going to crash into someone or crash into a rock or something. Oh yeah, I love Croft Meadow and Anniversary too. It's very good. And very just comforting. Me too, Amber. I think I got stuck on this bit for a good while as well. Ow! This guy's got skills using a shotgun on a bike like that, though. How did that not destroy them? Oh! I got a heal! And again! I can't all crash! Can you imagine me driving in real life? This is why I don't drive. This is why I'm a bus wanker. Smash, do you prefer this over the Skidoo theme? Yeah, the soundtrack does slap. The soundtrack slaps. Or whatever she's saying, I don't know. Hey, hey, I got one. <laughs> I had a whole body reaction to that, my god. The Kazakhstan section for the motorcycle is really boring. I will say that. Like, it just goes on for far too long. I don't enjoy it. Ooh! Oh god, I can't, I can't. This controls are terrible. Or maybe I'm just bad. You prefer this over the Skidoo theme? Amazing. I find that amazing. Ooh, yeah, maybe you could make this into your early. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. I wonder if, because I know that Delka is making his own Tomb Raider Legend demake. I wonder if he has any interest in reworking this into something. I don't know. Hmm. It is very much that. Oh, oh god. Oh.
I love this. Watch this. <laughs> she's driving. And she reverses. And she's like... Like... You just have to slow down. That's all you have to do is slow down. <laughs> Oh, it's silly. Oh, that was such fun. That was so much fun. Jeep. It hasn't changed much. What are a few years after all, when stacked atop thousands more? There's something I didn't tell you before. I think Amanda might not have died that way. I love Anaya. Have I mentioned? Have I mentioned how much I love Anaya? Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past to understand it? I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually. Like her character has layers. She's awesome. They had all the trademarks. All the trademarks. Lara! Get down here, you slacker! Jason says we're about to break through. In a minute, oh. Amanda. Amanda, our Aryan princess. She's so valley. She's incredible. What's her story? <laughs> Do you know what's funny? I remember like being 10 years old or something and writing, yes, writing like Tomb Raider fan fiction. And I had something with Anaya, like Anaya was a character in my fan fiction. And I just thought that was worth, worth sharing. So. Don't judge me too much. I mean, yeah, if we're bringing any characters back for the Unified Timeline... Forget Jonah. Bring back Anaya. Bring back Amanda. Bring back Kurt. I mean, Kurt dies in a minute, but I mean... You know what I mean. Oh, bring back Sarah. Sarah is an icon, okay? I love her. Sarah's dead! Oh, shit! What's happened? What's happened? Do I have my binoculars? No, I don't. Oh my god, what do they do to her face? Crikey. Shit, me. Does anybody remember? I don't remember which game it's in, where they, like, buried Angel of Darkness Lara. Like, her model, her character model is just, like, under the ground or something. Does anyone remember that? Oh, hi, John. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome, welcome. Anaya and Amanda fan club, yes. We need her. Maybe that's what my next video should be about. I'll just be talking about Tomb Raider Legend NPCs and how they're all extremely iconic. My God. Lara, over here. Kent? Oh, it's Kent, not Kurt. Sorry, my bad. Sarah! Oh my god! Everybody looks PS2. He is stuck in PS1. Poor man. Poor Ken. No wonder he died. He was probably too expensive to render. Yes. I like that they brought her classic outfit back for this. Like, they said, we want to do our own new modern Lara, but she's still the Lara you lo know and love. And then Reboot Lara came along, and they were like, yeah, fuck that bitch. You can forget about her. Yeah, I remember that smash. Amanda. That's probably what they did think, yeah. Wait. Kent. Kent. <laughs> So right, Smash. So right. This music is awesome too. Oh, fuck Nathan McCree. I don't want to hear shit about Nathan McCree. Trolls Fallman is right there. Just saying. Wait, am I getting secrets? <laughs> I need to remember where all the secrets are. 
Have I missed any? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh, hi, Jasmine. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks for joining us. We're playing Legend. The iconic legendary game. I'm what? I love Amanda's floral blouse. I bet she got it from Laura Ashley. Yeah, Jasmine has the uh, very appropriate picture. I think it's the same one I'm using in my thumbnail. Joe, you know what's funny? Every time I go live with a new game, I'm like, okay, ready to go live, and then I realize I haven't made a thumbnail, so I'm like, oh, open Photoshop for five minutes, because <laughs> I forgot to make a thumbnail. Yeah, me too, Rich. I love the classic outfit for this. It makes so much sense. Ah, uh, man. Duh. I don't like it. Are you sure you're reading it properly? Nothing is coming. Well, you know what? Good for her. Nothing better than having a uniform. How brilliant is this game? I just love it. Now, here is an incredible, iconic moment. If anybody ever says who would win, Lara Croft or Nathan Drake, watch this. She's lifting an iron gate, a spiked iron gate in water. Like, she's strong. This bitch is strong. Nathan Drake, you're going down. This bitch got arms. This is just so iconic for me. So iconic. <laughs> bitch dead. I'm sorry. I would have left her too. This is why I don't wear Converse. I wear Vans. I wear slip-on Vans and I, I don't have this trouble with my shoelaces. Shoe just comes straight off. Perfectly Super honest. easy. I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I'll leave you to figure out the how. I bet in their university days, Lara and Anaya had the absolute best gossip on the rest of the students. 100%. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. Good for Anaya for sticking to her guns. I don't blame her. If you get a call from Anaya, patch her through straight away. I'm a little concerned about leaving her by herself. Oh, I need some shotgun ammo. Exactly. Exactly. She's so strong. We need to put some respect on her name. How are we doing for medkits and the like? Oh, we got three. Alright. We're good. We're good. You see, I'm as strong as that. Like, I can lift as much as that. That's why I think that people need to respect it. Because I know what it goes into to lift that much weight. I'm just saying. I'm very strong also. And I know these things because I, I work out. So, that's why I think it's important to recognise it. Because I, I would know. I'm really worried I've missed a secret somewhere. And I don't know. I don't know. I say really worried. I'm not that worried. Okay, I think I'll get over it. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this! Spotify. 
Discover Kelly Rowland. Um. Okay. Kelly Rowland's got some new music, I guess. That's great for everyone. I thought it was the compass. I doubt not fall off your feet that easy. It's been on late. <laughs> I never imagined she could have survived. Not everyone can lift like me, I'm sorry. I know that it's a lot to handle, but not everyone can be as committed to the grind. Look she dripping. She's, this bitch is so did you see that? Drenched in the purse. Where's the secret? Where is it? There she is. Is this see-through? <laughs> I like this rock. Why Why is there absolutely no boundaries on these crystal dynamics? <laughs> it's true. It's true. Kenny Rowland will go to any extreme. To steal someone's thunder, my god. First Beyonce, now Jayanissa. It's just crazy. Should we listen to some Kaylee Rowland? She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Veracucha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed a star. She hasn't released anything since 2022. I'm confused. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. I mentioned how beautiful Lara Croft is. Yes, the similarities are striking. King Arthur, a little help here. It's the same story. A youth unaware of his royal blood rises from Zip clearly hasn't watched BBC's Merlin from 2007. I mean, I know this was 2006, but still. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. <gasps> oh my god! Freak Raider, hi! Oh my god! What a pleasure to have you in my stream. Ah, oh, Julian. Hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining. God, this makes this made me so excited. You're such a sweetheart. I'm always telling people about Angel of Darkness and your remake and stuff, so... God, I'm embarrassing myself. I should shut up. I'm sorry. But thanks for coming. Oh, I need to do stuff, don't I? <laughs> I was like, it's a quick time event. I need to be doing stuff. Ah! I'm not paying attention. She is divine. Oh, I know, Rich. Yeah, Skidoo theme. That's usually why I play at the gym, too. Yeah, yeah. That and Kelly Rowland. That usually gets me through my, my gym sessions. I'm great, Julian. How are you? I hope you're having a lovely day. When we're playing Legend, we're going to finish it in one sitting, because it's that easy. I really feel like I've missed a reward. I think I have. The PS1 Lara outfit, that's anniversary. Yeah, it's anniversary. The Queen's Shaman. A dais with a sword set into it, or in this case, Viticulture's star. This is it. This is shit. There's more than just one dais, but possibly. So the shaman Okay, what I will say, I know we said earlier about we don't mind Zip and Alistair. I think I'm actually getting a little bit annoyed. I wish they would just shut up, because I kind of can't hear myself think. I'm definitely missed a reward somewhere. Where would it have been? It must have been in Peru. <laughs> Obviously. It must have been in the um in the opening section. Oh, that's awesome. What a tease, what a tease, gosh. Well, I hope it's all going well. And I'm very uh very blessed to be entertaining you in the meantime.
I'm not gonna harass you with like um uh asking for spoilers and things, but like I hope it's all going well. Hope it's all going well. We're all very, very keen and excited to see what you've got to offer. Honestly, I can't wait for Angel of Darkness month so we can all all play Angel of Darkness a hundred times over. This June, it's this June, guys, Angel of Darkness month. We're going to have a great time. I'm only going to talk about Angel of Darkness <laughs> for a whole month straight. Stop, Smash Lord, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. Stop it. Where the heck is that reward I've missed? God damn it. Oh, bye, Rich. I must say, I'm impressed, Laura. <laughs> this is magnificent. Um, I want to know what, uh, Carvier, what Carvier updates you've made. I want to know how detailed her puss is and all such things, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Look at her. She's beautiful. Me when I see Carvier. <laughs> This is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. The tip has broken off. My God. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before. At Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Well, you didn't read enough, did you? It's not there anymore. Gosh, this Lara doesn't do her research. Reboot Lara would have figured that out like five minutes earlier. I don't care, Zephyr. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. So you're getting killed? Not my Carvier. Oh my god. What would Janice think? Gosh. And that poor woman. I don't want to talk about it. That's my attempt at a French accent, by the way. Not very good. Can't wait to be into darkness now. I live in the darkness. Sorry, I wasn't keeping track of Anaya. I got distracted. She seems safe for now. It's all right. Just let me know if our mercenary friends get any closer to her. I always thought that part was so funny. Oh, they just won't. Stop. They just won't shut up. Um. Zip is like, sorry, I wasn't keeping track on your best friend Anaya. She might die. I was too distracted. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to her. And Lara's like, oh, it's all right. That's no, fine. Lara's a bad friend. If it was me, I'd be like, drop it, Zip, or I'll drop you. That's what I'd be like. <laughs> Ripped to an icon. That would be so sad. Oh my god. RVA fans distraught. Left distraught after shocking graphic imagery. I love this 2D sprite of the rope. I I hope in the remaster, the Tomb Raider Legend remaster that's never coming, I hope they uh they they don't update the rope texture. I love my my rope sprites. But I'm really fighting against these controls here, I'm not gonna lie. I remember being really little and looking up YouTube videos like how to find all the gold secrets. And I remember seeing this one and being like, how was I supposed to know that was there? How was I supposed to go there? Well, Jason, that's because you were only seven years old and you didn't have any critical thinking. And where is the boulder? Has it, oh, it's over here. I was like, has it come down yet? Oh, oopsie. Maybe, if I go to the other texture mode, maybe the 3D rope will, will come in. Guys, can I use a cheat? Can I use a skip? Because I really can't be bothered to go all the way around. I've totally missed a bronze reward, haven't I? 
How do I do the thing? No. There we go. <laughs> Most of the gold secrets, I remember the Kazakhstan one giving me like so much grief when I was younger. That was one of my, uh, one of the one times, well not, it's just one of those memorable times I was on Seller's website being like, looking at the screenshots like, how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to know what to do? Oh, I don't know. A little bit of manifesting. Yeah, okay, okay. It'll come, it'll come. Hi, Infernape. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a lovely day. Trying to be sneaky. Yeah, I think this was probably one of the first games I beat on my own, too. I'm trying to think what the first one... Angel of Darkness was my first game. Like, not the first I played, but, like, the first game I owned. That was the first Tomb Raider game I owned, Angel of Darkness, but I never finished it because of Boaz. <laughs> um, maybe Legend was the first I, I finished by myself. Yeah, probably. Hey, 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 that was funny. Let's have a look at the... the I wonder if... So if I switch to next gen... Gosh, I, I can't... I can't with the mouse. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't know about that. Oh, this looks so much better. My god. Oh god, I need to be careful. Nope. It's the same. Maybe in the Xbox version it's different. <laughs> this looks so much better, but I, 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 I don't like it. I like the old version. The old version is much more... This is my Tomb Raider legend. My Tomb Raider legend. Oh god, hello. We smoke still fugly. How do I crouch? Oh. <laughs> oh, Miller, always whining. I know just what typical Miller. They don't know I know this hack. Oh, hang on. Oh no. You can't, you can't get me. You can't get me. I'm hidden. Oh shit. They know where I'm here. Maybe, uh. Maybe it's on the HD version. The HD. Although I had a couple bugs when I played that. I feel like there's no version of these games that isn't just a little bit buggy, because even the PlayStation version I played of Anniversary and it was still... This is what bothers me when everyone says Angel Darkness is so buggy, it's so bad. Because I'm like, really? Is it bad? Oh, okay. Please find me a physical retail version of Anniversary that functions well, <laughs> because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I was hidden in a rock. I don't know how they didn't see me. I'm the biggest AOD defender ever. Everyone's like, it's so buggy, it's so buggy. And I'm like, oh, it is? That's funny. I played Anniversary. And that's pretty buggy too. Tarantula. How do they see me? I was so quiet. It's a grenade! Oh, sugar. Oh, they're, they're fucking me up here. They're fucking me up here. Oh! There's the last one! I need to get it before the level ends. <laughs> it was here the whole time! Oh no, uh, I have not done any AOD playthroughs yet. Ooh. 
I'm saving myself for um uh June. I'm saving myself for June anniversary month for um Angel Darkness. And I will play it probably at least at least once on live. Maybe multiple times. I haven't decided. Get down here. She's not doing it. Oh, there we go. How do I do the thing? Doosh. <laughs> um, yeah, I plan on playing AOD at least at least once on live. But I want to do like a whole month of it. Like a whole bunch of videos for, for AOD during June. Um, just to celebrate it. Because it's the best. A saga. <laughs> It'll be a whole thing. It'll be a whole deal. I'll do I'll do a whole big thing for it. I'm excited. Did you speak to Takamoto? I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right, then. I'm heading there straight away. I'll need to find something to wear, though. You know that Lara's loaded with cash when she hears that she has to get a flight to Japan, basically same day, from Peru, and it's not even an issue. She's like, oh, Japan tomorrow night? Sure. No issue. I'll head to the airport straight away. Hilarious. What exactly happened last time you and Takamoto got together? He was trying to pass off for Yeah, Nathan, I I see what you mean. On that, I kind of see what you mean. I feel like AOD is really unique because of its like European flair. I think it's a what's going on with her hair here? I think the um I really like the European atmosphere for Angel of Darkness, but I think maybe three games of it would have gotten a bit, a little bit old. But I know that, um, Lara's richness. Did you see how she adjusted her dress there? I've never seen that before. Um, I love this, uh, sparkling water, uh, soda stream effect they've got going on, on here. Um... The one thing I'll say about AOD Future Plans, I did read on Murty Schofield's website, he was the guy that was the writer, lead writer for Angel of Darkness. Some of his plans for the trilogy are incredible. And if you if you Google, I think just Murty Schofield, Angel of Darkness, his website will come up. You can read like all of his plans for what the trilogy was supposed to be. And so much of it, incredible, incredible. But Smash Lara is right. We need to focus on Legend Lara here because this is iconic, pure vibes. Sometimes I wish I was a woman so I could dress like this. I mean, I could dress like this now. There's nothing stopping me. Oh well. I love how groovy they are. She kind of looks like Audrey Plaza. Come on, she's she's totally April from Parks and Rec. Good evening. I believe Nishimura-san is expecting you. Ah, Lady Croft. No worries, King. She does look very sexy. Look at this pose. This is her idol pose. She's just like... <laughs> She's so supermodel of the world. It's incredible. I love her um, very simple black leather ne necklace. Very simple. Her breasts are incredible. They 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 went all out for this game. It's It's crazy. I kind of feel like I said Audrey Plaza now that I think about it. I don't think I said Aubrey, did I? <laughs> I'm thinking about oh, Audrey from Coronation Street now. Oh my god, wait, look at these, look at these queens. Sorry, I'm reading chat. They came in the same outfit, oh my god. This is just like that time on the runway when Aubrey Plaza and Elizabeth Olsen were wearing the same dress. Do you remember? 
They're kind of, oh my god, this bitch is wearing the same dress too. Gosh, they all shop at Macy's, don't they? But I like her gloves. Look at her long gloves. Wow. Maybe Crystal were too intimidated by Angel Adonis and they were like, uh, we're not going to touch that. It kind of flopped and we can't do justice by the design docs. So we're just going to pretend it didn't happen. I don't think I'd like Aubrey Plaza to play Lara. I think I would like a British Welcome, slash European lady Enjoy to play Lara. Although, well, to be honest, I don't really give a shit about live action stuff. Arrives, however, I don't really like live action retellings of video games. I feel like it's most of them are pretty rubbish. Oh, hi, Ank. She kind of does have the energy. At least, yeah, for AOD and Lara, definitely. Hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> King, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Keely Horse has exceptional Japanese pronunciation too. None, they? Debrief this croft. I have many demands on my time, you understand. Okay, but when are we all gonna come to the realization that Tokamoto is as sexy as Pierre? In the care of Waseda University, or it was until you stole it. <laughs> I am not a thief. Oh my god. I don't know if anybody here plays Overwatch as well. Accusations. But the guy that voices Hanzo in. It's very loud. I have to tend to take this off. The guy that voices Hanzo in Overwatch voices Nishimura in this game, which I thought was really nice. He's also a fabulous. Fabulous Japanese gay man. Um, the voice actor. I thought there was some nice uh, trivia for you all. Look at that Windows XP screensaver they've got on those monitors over there. Oh my god, I love her lace underwear. Holy crap. She's so fashion. This game has no right being this iconic. What do you mean this was Crystal Dynamics' first Tomb Raider game? It's actually incredible what they did. Oh, I love this one. Oh, don't kick me. Ugh, see how you like it. I can see it. I can see Takamoto being... Follow him, Lara. His men will be waiting. I mean, come on, he's wearing sunglasses and doors. That's a little, a little queer. If I can't go down, I'll go up. Oh, does she? Oh, it's interesting, Smash. I didn't know that. The roof? There is an elevator. I do call anyone sexy. I'm just very, how do you say, there is construction above. lonely. I don't know about this, Lara. That's why we have to view the problem from a different <laughs> Nishimura gave me the path to the lift, and I'm on my way. <laughs> it's because your taste in Western men is just peculiar, Smash. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, oh, thank you, Manuel, for saying that. That is so kind of you to say. Thank you so much. That's very kind. I'm glad you enjoy my stuff. I need to make another video soon, but I just don't know what to make a video on. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like I need to continue talking about the remasters, but I don't know what to say that people haven't already said before me, so I don't really know what I can talk about. It's not a party until something gets broken. It's not a party until something gets broken. I know Nishimura and Takamoto, this is the fanfiction we never knew we needed. I bet it exists somewhere on AO3. Wow. Paris. Beautiful. Rutland is hot. Who else is sexy? Hmm, let's have a think. Winston? I mean, Zip is kind of sexy. Zip is sexy in Legend with his, like, moustache. And then in Underworld, they ruined it. 
Now I know that I said about uh, Takamoto. Oh God, what's she doing? What's she doing? Alistair is such a... F Alistair's a bag. 100%. I think I can say that on the stream. Oops! I think it just did. Mmm, <laughs> listen to that. Oh my god, is that Dua Lipa? Oh my god. I come and I go. Catch me and I go Houdini. I think I did that wrong. <laughs> me too, Manuel. Female protagonists are the best. Oh! <laughs> Oopsie. Yes, he's a cigarette. That's what I. That's what I meant. I forgot this is a quick time event here. I, I'm gonna kill her because I think this part is really cool. <laughs> I really like the. Uh, I find that death is so funny. Do the peep. I want to talk about Dua Lipa for a minute. She's so like. I mean, she's talented. But how is she as famous as she is? There's some like Illuminati something or other going on there. Like she's she's good, but like You know that that kid that got arrested for the like Nicki Minaj Dua Lipa stan? The kid that got arrested because he turned up at some like Dua Lipa stan's house. Like, how is it that Dua Lipa... There she is, she's down there. Oh my god, and that's um, Caroline Polacek, or whatever her name is. And that's Lucy Liu. <laughs> um, I also believe that Dua Lipa is as famous as she is. Like, she's great. I've seen her live, she's great. But, like, how? What, what happened there? What happened there? I don't know. Oh my god. Big Crater, I know the exact one you're talking about, and uh, I too have very much enjoyed that, that image over the last several years. Yeah. Yeah, Dua Lipa's great, but like... Huh? Like, she's... I don't know, I don't know. On, she's just... It, it amazes me the level that she's on, considering how absolutely vanilla she is. But whatever. It is very distracting. Yeah, please do shut up. I can't read chat and listen. Yeah, what do you reckon Nishimura is up to right now? Oh, I guess he's preparing our helicopter, but maybe he's like... in his office as one of his many male lovers. What is she... Why did she shoot the lantern? Lara's like, I know. I'll grenade the lantern. That's a great idea. Yeah. I'm totally smashed. Uh, I'm not gonna kill the doggy. The doggy can stay where it is. Bye bye doggy. Oh yeah, let's let's do some cardboard boxes. Me at work when a customer asks me if I can look out back. 
Can you just check the back? Yeah, sure. <laughs> she hated the lantern. Hi, Alexander. How are you doing? Nice to have you back again. Hope you're having a lovely day. Okie dokie. You know, what the hell were they thinking making a movie based on Tomb Raider 2013? Alicia Vikander, you should have been playing. Legend Lara, this is the Lara you should have been portraying. Come on, this in a movie? Incredible. This is the movie we needed. They won't see me with my big, big light on. Is anything ever in the back? Only my patience. I can never find it back there, though. I love that these uh, cubicles are perfect Lara Croft height for cover. Do you think I can just sneak past and not kill anybody? Yes. Oh, you're happy to see me playing Legend. I love it. It's awesome. How do you know I was there? Ow! Ow, ow, ow! That hurt! That hurt, Charlie! Ow! Ow! Shotguns are great! I need one of these! Can I have yours? Thank you! Boom! 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 Perfect. <laughs> it's true, Ank. This game is so short, it definitely could fit in an hour. We can just, like, s cut out the whole Kazakhstan level. I don't think we... Oh, no, we need that for... We can cut out Peru. We can cut out the Peru level, and the whole game makes sense still. Now, this is the trouble. There's a secret in one of these boxes, and I can't open it, because the game is bugged. I can hoof this cupboard as much as I want, but the gay boy ain't ever coming out. Oh, there he is. Okay, never mind. He came out of the closet. Whoa, well done. No one celebrated when I came out. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Are you like Alicia? You thought she was a comedian? I don't know if Alicia would like you saying that. She's probably like, I wasn't trying to be funny. I was trying to be cool. She got nothing on Angelina though. Thank you, thank you. You know what that means. I'll get the diamond hydronite. I mean, if she can survive, like, all of the tetanus she would probably be getting from the Maria Doria, I reckon she's probably fine on these Japanese rooftops. I'm sure her feet are rock solid. She could do with buying one of those, um, foot peels from Boots, though. I imagine that would be a good, a good investment for her. Wow, this view is incredible. I really love that 2D texture in the background. It looks really nice. She's got she's recovered from every illness except COVID, okay? Coincidence? Haven't had a game since COVID, I'm just saying. Sorry, sorry, we got reloaded. We got reloaded. That game. Oh. When the world needed her most, she vanished. A hundred years pass, and my brother and I discovered the new Tomb Raider. A game called Reloaded. 
And although the game is terrible, I believe Reloaded can save the games industry. Just kidding, it's terrible. I played it once and I hated it. No shoes, just foot peels. That's what she needs. She doesn't need anything else. Wow, I love this art deco. It's so art deco. Is that a Christmas tree? It's just a gold Christmas tree. Can it fall? Christ. It's just an upside down gold Christmas tree. Home. Oh no. Pick up the head health kit. Pick up the health kit. Oh, go away. I'm really good at combat, as you can see. You wouldn't have believed that I'm an Apex Legends pro, but I am. I'm great at combat in every game. Hang on. The range is terrible. <laughs> I know. Do you think they included Curtis and Anaya? and Verna all in the same game because they knew they wanted to unify the timelines and that's what they were going to do from now on. Do you think that's why they did it? Come to me, little guy. Yeah, it would have been cool, but the game thought otherwise, so... Boom. I should really be saving my ammo. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. You know you, unicorn fart? I have no idea. Oh man, I have a whole video talking about Unified Lara, you can have a look if you like. I don't mind her design, at least the design that we saw uh, in that new wallpaper. I don't mind it. Um, I actually think it does a pretty good job of what it's supposed to do, if you like. Um, in terms of how they're going to rewrite slash retcon things, I really hate it. If anything, I'd rather they just do a fresh new reboot, because I really hate inconsistencies in narratives. I find it so irritating when they have to retcon stuff. Like, a whole bunch of stuff they had to retcon from, like, Rise to Shadow with Lara's parents and stuff. I hate it. I hated all of that. Even down to, like, voice actress. Uh, um inconsistencies and things like it really bugs me when a voice actor doesn't continue all the way through like I don't know if anyone's played Life is Strange but how Chloe has a different voice actress between the first Life is Strange game and before the storm like it like it bothers me so much I don't even want to play it <laughs> so that kind of stuff really bugs me so I just I just would like I almost want them to not acknowledge a lot of past Tomb Raider events at all. I'd, I'd rather it was all just extremely ambiguous because I think it's what they've tried to do, what I think they're trying to do with this whole unifying everything. I think it's just impossible and if you ask me it's the last thing I would have decided to do. <laughs> they should have just... it's so clear they want to hold on to reboot Lara as much as they can but still appeal to all the classic fans. They should have just made reboot Lara grow up and behave and act like classic Lara. Like, we don't have to acknowledge any of the Tomb Raider stuff from Tomb Raider games prior. Like, do your own thing. Do your own new thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Is that true, Smash? I hadn't even considered that. That Reboot Lara wasn't... had no part in Reloaded. I hadn't even considered that. Is that true? Chloe's voice actor was... Ashley Birch was a writer and they, she's still didn't have the time to write a couple voice lines? I, I mean, I know voice acting is a whole... is a much bigger gig than that, but... That, that amazes me. That Horizon Zero Dawn paycheck was big, I guess. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, so long as I don't mention her parents, then I'll be happy. Whatever they do, they'll, I'll be happy. Actually, that's not true. I don't want parents. I don't want students. I don't want allies. I don't want friends storyline. I don't want, you know, passing the torch down. I don't want society of Tomb Raiders. I don't want any of that. That all sounds like baloney to me. Unified Lara, it means... Um, it's a term... I have a whole video about it. You, you should watch my video about Unified Lara. You'll, you'll get a whole idea as to what it's all about. It's basically they want to unify every version of Lara into one new version. You have broken into my house. You have killed my oh, is that true? Union stuff. Okay. I didn't know that. A strike? Oh, okay. I was not aware. Well, that's fair enough. That's fair enough, Ashley Birch. Ashley Birch in every single video game ever, including Rise of the Tomb Raider. I always thought he was wearing a shirt when I was younger, but he, it's tattoos. He's got tattoos on. Have I got all the secrets? Yes. I thought he had like some like uh, eccentric gay lace shirt on from River Island, but it's his tattoos. Which is almost as gay as the shirt from River Island, so I think that's kind of brilliant. I mean, they started off with plenty of interesting characters. They had, um, Reyes. I liked Reyes. I liked Sam from 2013. I liked Roth. But they killed them all off, so I don't know. I liked Anna. And then she died. I tell you who I don't like, Jonah. I'm over Jonah. I'm over him. Excellent. Tell him he's my new favourite person. One of my favourite Lara quotes. If that was me, I'd have been like, Damn Nishimura, you couldn't wait? You had to be flying me through the air like that? You couldn't just hover for a minute as I climb up? God damn it. Lara sent him to hell. Confirmed. Absolutely. Africa is among my favorite continents. Aww. Great. Africa is one of my favorite continents. No sign of Rotland so far. Have we worked out what he's doing here? No, but there's something else. Oop. When I was going over the map, Winston said your parents... Ah, oh, hi, Will. The site before you were born. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Thanks for joining. It happens occasionally. How are you doing? <laughs> you missed the most iconic level. It's fine. You've got the rest of it to enjoy. We're probably going to... It might take me into the late evening, but I would like to finish Legend tonight because I just know that we can. With style, it's true. It's true. She just got style. I do my best thinking when plunging off cliffs. She says, "God, she's such a show off." How often do you plunge off cliffs, Lara? Be honest. Oh, this is beautiful, though. 
I'm surprised we haven't spent more time in Africa for Tomb Raider. I think we should go back to... There should be some more, more levels in Africa. I think that would be a good idea. Ah, oh, hi Malu! How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely evening. Thanks for joining us as well. I like that with Legend every single level is a totally unique location as well. The globe trotting aspect is definitely when Tomb Raider is at its best, so I, I do appreciate and love that they did that for this game. And Underworld 2. And I hope that continues in the future. The aliens vibes. <laughs> Certainly in Tomb Raider 1. I mean the mutant stuff in Tomb Raider 1 is awesome. Big fan of that. are always impractical. It's what makes them grand. Lara! She said grand. Grand entrances. It's grand. She's from the same place in the UK as me and she's saying grand. Grand. It's grand. And I'm a posh bastard too. <laughs> oh, hi YB. I know, she needs to be fabulous again, doesn't she? We miss our fabulous Lara. Yeah, I think the future of Tomb Raider looks quite quite good. I like how seriously they're taking everything for um, the website and the brand and because there's been so much new content regarding all of that stuff, I think we have some, it, some things to look forward to, you know? I think uh, things are looking up. I will say, those memes they've been making on YouTube and on TikTok are atrocious. They're atrocious. I'm going to show you one of them. I'm going to show you one of them, and I want you to laugh. I want you to laugh if you actually think it's funny. That's what I'm trying to say. No one will laugh. Because it's not funny. It's terrible. I already spoke about this earlier with Smash Lara. It's terrible. Tomb Raider. How do I find their, their YouTube channel? It's just atrocious. I don't know if anybody else saw this one, but... What are we doing? What are we doing? What is that? Who made that? I think I know who made that. I'm not impressed. That's all I'll say. <laughs> oh, thanks, Julian. I'm from, um, I'm from, well, born in Surrey, which is where Lara is from. Uh, I grew up in Hampshire. I still live in Hampshire, which is in the south of England. Um, I hadn't realised quite how posh I sound until I started working with my colleagues and they all assumed that I went to private school and I was like, why would you assume that? And they were like, because you sound like it. And I was like, oh, do I? And I didn't go to private school. We were trash talking it. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's, it's, it's so cringe. Right? It's cringe, isn't it? Ugh. Oh, YB, I agree. Chloe Fraser is exactly what Tomb Raider should be. Have you seen the mod for Lost Legacy? I'm sure you probably have, but that mod for Lost Legacy is everything I want Future Lara to be. I wasn't going to say it, Will. I wasn't going to say it. But yeah. If you're going to hire a homosexual to do your marketing, I mean, I'm already basically doing it, so you may as well just pay me for it. I'm just saying. Here I am, with my silly videos. Where's my cut? These poor guys. 
they faint at the first sight of a grenade. It's terrible. Whee! Whee! Yeah, Chloe is perfect. I'm thinking that we can do a stream of Lost Legacy at some point with those mods because they're just so iconic. And that's exactly what I wish Lara was like. I would love another Uncharted game with Chloe Fraser. She's an absolute queen. Absolute queen. I barely even acknowledge the level that we're playing. Okay, we're playing Ghana. Now, Japan was very iconic. Ghana, not so much. Not so much. But I enjoy the aesthetics of this place. It's nice to have a really cool tomb. And Ghana is, of course, a very unique location. We haven't... I don't know if we've been to Africa prior to this level. I mean, of course we've been to Egypt. Now, now what was that? What was that? But we should do more stuff in Ghana, in, um, in Africa, sorry. More, more Tomb Raider levels in Africa would be cool. Like, what if we went to the Sahara? How have we not done that yet? Oh, I know. Her, like, raspiness? Oh. She's so hot. Chloe Fraser is so hot. I know! <laughs> I agree. I clocked out when Chloe left Uncharted 3. I was like, okay. I'm not paying attention anymore. I played the Uncharted games, the original ones. I played them once. And I thought I was so bored. I have not played them since. I hope so. I hope they took notes. Oh! Jump failed successfully. Uh, okay, okay, we're back, we're back. You know, I kind of want the next game to be set in India too, or do some Hindu myths and things, because I loved what they did with, like, Lost Legacy, but Lost Legacy has already done that stuff, so it's like... I don't know. Oh, I haven't read Amulet of Power. I've read one of the Tomb Raider novels. I think it's The Lost Cult. But I read it like 10 years ago, so I don't remember. You want a Lost Legacy playthrough? Okay, okay. I shall oblige. I shall oblige. I'll do it someday. We're going to do Legend first. Then we'll do Underworld. Then I'll open it up to you guys. I kind of want to play Tomb Raider 2013 again, but if you guys would rather see Lost Legacy, then I'll do that. I'll do that after Underworld. To turn on V-Sync? Oh, okay. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit of a boomer and I don't know how to do those things. Help me, I'm poor. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I have to do it in the in the other menu. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, Unicorn Far, I, I kinda see where you're coming from with that. But after the Last of Us 2, I don't want Naughty Dog anywhere near to bring that. I really don't. I really don't. I Naughty Dog are great for the craft and the excellence and how they make their games. It's very good. And I like how focused they are on story and stuff. But they love to smell their own farts. Seriously. I'm so just... Uh, I, can't, I can't stand them. I can't stand them as a, as a company, to be quite honest. I love the games they do. I love what they do. But I just so fucking over them seriously i was watching some of the commentary for the last of us part two like developer commentary and just the way they talk about themselves it's like oh my god you guys bloody love yourselves don't you they're like oh this scene was so hard to write but we pulled it off amazingly and i'm such a good writer and i'm such a good performer like it was just like oh well you guys just shut the fuck up you guys are not God's creation, literally. You're not 
God's gift to the world. Would you just relax? That's my two cents. That's my two cents on that. Hi, Athos. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Yes, the narcissism for Naughty Dog is incredible. So that's why I'm a little against them. A little against them. I don't want Neil Druckmann anywhere near Tomb Raider. Oops! Neil Druckmann is a... Oh, like I said, narcissist. I don't want him anywhere near it. Sorry! Because I know a lot of people love, love what they do, but uh, just... The gameplay of Last of Us 2, it's, it's great. And like the detail and the animations, it's incredible. But I can't enjoy it when I know the crunch and the level of, the, like, the amount of hours that the staff had to be put through in order to meet those demands. Like, I don't, I don't need an extremely well-polished and immaculate looking animation if it saves, you know, a guy having a lunch break. Like, I'd much rather everybody is treated a little bit nicer in the industry. Especially look at how many layoffs there are and stuff with the, the video game industry these days. Like, let's all just be a bit nicer to each other. I don't need those animations for it. Trigger warning. Oh. Toby Guard? Maybe. I don't know. I think they need to hire me. I know what I'm talking about. I'd be a great director for Tomb Raider. I'm just kidding. I'd be terrible. You guys would all be really confused at the random Anaya level. You'd all be really like, why is this included? And I'd be like, sorry. It's my game. I'm the director. Yeah, crunching is never good. Oh, hi, Darius. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Who do we want for a VA? Oh no, Camilla probably won't be returning. I wouldn't mind if she did, so long as she was just told to wise up her ideas. Just for the sake of continuity, I wouldn't mind if she was back. But she needs to learn how to do an English accent, for goodness sake. Um, I want Joan L. Elliot to return because, no offence to Miss Queen, but I don't expect she's booked and busy, so I think she would happily clear her schedule for it. And I would love her to return because she's the absolute best voice actress for Lara. And if we want to unify the timelines, we better do it properly. So that's who I want to return. Otherwise, I don't know who did Evie Fry's voice for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. But I like her voice and I think she would do great. I'm eager to see what Hayley Atwell does for the anime. And if she's good, then for sake of consistency, we can keep the same voice actress. I'd be happy for that too. But who does everybody else like? Who do you all like, Falara? Yeah, just the... Yeah. I could... Uh, uh, Naughty Dog are just... Ugh. Just not a fan. Not a fan. And I used to really love them before The Last of Us 2. And then that game came out and I've just never been... I don't, I don't want to harp on it too much because I know that people like that game. And I'm sorry if I'm trashing you on a game that you like. <laughs> Dua Lipa? You want Dua Lipa to voice Lara? Okay. Go, girl, give us nothing. <laughs> Daisy Ridley? I mean, Daisy Ridley, she kind of looks like Lara. I don't know if she sounds like like Lara. Oh, who's that voice actress? No, sorry, not voice actress. Who's that actress that's been going around a bit? Oh, I've forgotten her name. She's in Dune, I think. Let me find her. Because I think she could do a good, a good Lara. Dune 2. Who's in it? Um, Rebecca Ferguson. I think she'd make a good Lara. I think Rebecca Ferguson would. 
No way, Will. No way. No way does someone suggest how you. That's got to be a lie. And <laughs> they can't have been serious. No, not Anya Taylor Joy. No, Rebecca Ferguson. She's a bit more mature. She's uh, got a really beautiful voice. I think she would do a good job. Oh! Oopsie. Oh my gosh. You know, I love Grey Delisle. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. She's, she's, she's beautiful. Because she voices Jean from Bayonetta, so... Huge fan of hers. Did you know she voices Natla in Tomb Raider Anniversary in Underworld? So I want her to return purely for Natla. Although, she's got a great British accent, so if she did do Lara, she would do a good job. Now, where the hell was she going? Yeah, she would do a good job too. I think she can do a good English accent. If you um, look up cutscenes for Bayonetta, she voices Jean. She does a better a better British accent than um, the Bayonetta one does in Bayonetta 3. Oh my god, Helena Taylor. <laughs> let's, let's offer Helena Taylor more than $4,000. To voice Lara. I'll be up for that. It is cool. Yeah, you should look her up. Jean has an awesome voice. I love Jean, so I would uh I'd be up for that. I'd be up for that. But like a like a live action portrayal, I think Rebecca Ferguson, probably my my pick. But I don't really care for live action stuff. Um, I'd much prefer a CGI, CGI thing, like what Resident Evil did. Not that their movies are any good, but... Ooh! 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 It's hitting my ankles, but we're not gonna, we're not paying attention to it, apparently. <laughs> Woo! Of course we do! She does voice Natla. Do you want to know how I figured that out? I was playing Anniversary one day, having played Bayonetta series, and I was like, hmm, why does Natla's grunt sound familiar? And I realised they were the exact same grunt noises as Jean from Bayonetta, because that's what Grey Delisle sounds like when you ask her to do a, a grunt noise. And I was like, oh my god, it's the same actress. Yeah, it is crazy. And she does Azula in um, Avatar. Oh, I've just started watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time. And I'm enjoying it. I'm on season one. Nearly finished season one, but I've never seen it before. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Whoops, Unicorn Fire is funny. It's maybe the second or third thing I'll ask for next. I'm gonna give a quick heads up. I'm gonna, um, after this level, I'm gonna pause for like only a minute just to get a drink because I'm feeling a little parched. Oop. Have I missed any secrets? I hope not. Let me think. What have we got? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty. Do you guys know that, uh, that website that's extremely, like, woke website that writes those articles about, like, um, really controversial articles, like, we don't need a Tomb Raider 4 remaster because Tomb Raider 4 was shit. I, is it The Gamer? I think that's the name of the website. You just know that if they made a modern Tomb Raider game where you can lock Winston in the freezer, they would call it domestic abuse, and Lara's a terrible person, and she abuses people, and she's an abuser, and that's what they would say. 
they had a modern game with that. I wasn't really into Rugrats. It used to kind of um, creep me out. So I've not watched it, but I kind of love that. I love Amanda's voice. Her voice actress is, is awesome. I'd love to see Amanda return to the series. Honestly. Where are you? Ugh. Ooh. Why is the bridge collapsed? Why is why is the bridge not here? <laughs> See, oh, but Angel of Darkness is really buggy. Okay, okay, if you say so. Perfect throw. Oh I wish I had a sniper. No one can hide from my sights. You're welcome. I'm giving them what they need. They need a bit of sustenance after my uh, queerness. Oh, they already blew up the bridge again. Oh, they're so lame. Do you think this will reach them? Oh, it did. Jesus Christ. What an arm I've got. And again. Oh, excellent. Can I get that guy? No, that's a bit far for Lara. I think that's fair. Stop shooting me. I'm too... What the fuck? God damn it. Oh, don't make me get that secret again. Ah, oh, that's lame. Oops. Oh no, we want to go this way. I might just bum rush for the for the exit across the bridge because CBA for this. Better not blow up the bridge. They've already blown up the bridge. What? What on earth? They're so mean. But I didn't ask them to do that. They're so mean to me. Why are they so mean? And why are Lara's grenades not counting anymore? This is sad. Oh, legend! Ooh, my god. I'm going to cheat in a minute. I'm going to cheat in a minute. So I've had enough. Oh. My favourite Tomb Raider and why is Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 2 is my favourite. I couldn't really tell you why. I don't really know. It's just the game that gives me the most joy, most happiness. 
I loved playing it in a remaster. It was such a delight to play. I think that's it's just a delight. I just love it. Um, it's classic Tomb Raider. It's my favorite of those classic games. It's just just great. It's just great. Angel of Darkness is high up there too, of course. Underworld is high up there. Tomb Raider 1's high up there. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What's your favourites? Oh. That was close. Can I hang off of here? Yeah, I can. Oh, come on, Lara. All right, we'll shoot then instead. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. She was slipping. I was paying attention. Here's me like, hmm, I could totally finish this in one night. And I'm like, I totally could. But do I want to? Or do I want to finish it tomorrow? I can't decide. Yeah. This does suck. This does suck. I played this on um, PlayStation 3 last year. I was getting so triggered at the final boss because there's like a glitch with Excalibur where she just kills herself. It's really awful. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it normally. I'll just be very careful. I'll just be very careful. All right. Did you see that? He said he didn't want to do this no more. Got the sink, brother. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. What? What is that? Oh, I'm getting triggered. I'm getting so triggered. Yeah, Mallow, there's so many games, it's hard to decide which is the best one. Um, I like all of the ones you've mentioned. Anniversary, I've lost a little bit of love for it over the years. I used to really like it, but... Um, I'm not as much of a fan of it anymore. Um, I think it's the weakest of the LAU trilogy, in my opinion. It's got great vibes, and I like the uh, cutscenes and music, and uh, I like the boss battles, but uh, I think it's um, Tomb Raider 1 is superior as a game. That's just my opinion. But Underworld, love. Hmm. What am I jumping for? What am I actually jumping for? I might have to plug in my controller to do this bit. Why am I struggling so bad? Jesus. All right. What can I unplug? Okay. <laughs> this is so, so cursed. You're going to have to bear with me for a minute. Can this recognize that I've got a gamepad? I've had to unplug my ring light. So I can get this to work. This is so bad. 
But you know I've got a gamepad. It's plugged in. Oh, this is so gay. Oh, fine. No controller. God damn it. <laughs> I really thought that would work. Clearly not. God, I'm getting a bit fatigued. I don't know what's going on. Just smacked her own bum. This has got to be so frustrating to watch as well. I do apologise. <laughs> oh man. I'm glad it's entertaining because I'm I'm getting I'm getting real real tired. Is this working? It's working, it's working. I did it, I did it, I did it. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Oh. I'm glad it's entertaining, I really am, because I'm getting so annoyed. That nearly worked! Why did I... What What was that? Was it because a guy shot me? She really got stunned by that. Oh, for God's sake. Alright. I just don't understand why the bridge is broken. The bridge should not be broken. I've been on this part probably longer than the rest of the level. I want a big celebration when I finally get past this. Big leap. All right, good. Uh... He killed himself, idiot. Oh, we might make it, guys. We might finally make it. Oh, thank God for that. That was truly terrible. Give me a checkpoint now. Right now. Good, good, good. That was terrible. <laughs> I don't have my headphones on. I kind of forgot that that was coming. My bad. I was just on autopilot there. All right. Play. Thank you. Well, we're nearly at the end. And like I said, in a minute, I'm going to take a small break, just get a glass of water. I won't be very long at all. Um, I'll be a minute, literally a minute. And we'll be back and I'll play Kazakhstan. Then we've only got a few levels afterwards. We've only got four levels after this one. It's really not that bad. I'll breeze through them. Super easy. I hope that I can finish this boss fight really quickly too. Lara. You came for the Galali key too then. Perfect. 
Pretend I don't Watch your vaginas, everyone. It's Rutland. Oh, you know, it's what puts the sword back together. It's the size of a fist. And according to Amanda's research, it's here. Are those Ray-Bans? What do you know about Amanda? Where is she? So your your father did some digging here. What was that gulp he made? You know, Amanda thought maybe he found the key. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about that frat boy energy. Everybody was thirsting over him earlier, Will. <laughs> well, I have been spending some time with it, and I've learned a couple of things. Let me show you. Does reloaded Lara have some personality that I don't know about? I was kind of under the impression that sh she doesn't do do a lot. Oh, thank God, that was so quick and painless. I'm really not your enemy, mother. <laughs> These pieces weren't broken apart. They were Masha, so thirsty. And reattach. The Galali key does that. Does he? When did he do that? Did I miss that? History doesn't interest me. Well, then why don't you stay here and consider the future? Make sure I'm not in it, however. You won't enjoy seeing me again. Your father might not have found the Galali key. Who voices Rutland? Oh, I want to know now. Right now. You better have good insurance. I wonder if it's someone famous. God, finally. I've been trying to get through for ages. Ah, hi, Zen. How are you doing? We're having a good good old time on Legend. Where? Well, no way! Oh, wait a minute. I've got to find something. The guy that voices Rutland, I do recognize. Is this this guy? Uh, it's not gonna focus, I'm sorry. His name is Rhino Romano. He does look familiar, and I feel like he's been on Nickelodeon. I feel like I've seen him in iCarly. <laughs> oh, he, he voices Louise in um, Resident Evil 4, the original. Um, he's been in a whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of stuff, but I was wondering if I had recognized him from, like, iCarly or something. My first point of reference, of course. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Alright, so I'll be back. I'm gonna make a very quick drink, like I said I was going to. Uh, I shan't be long at all. Um, I'm gonna alt-tab, but I have a feeling that the game is gonna have a bit of a moment. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a go. Alright, I will be right back, okay?
Oh, what did I say? The game has crashed again, just like I thought. You really cannot alt-tab, otherwise Tomb Raider Legend does not like it. So bear with me one second, I do apologise. I'll get it back up and running again. Um... This is why we need remasters. Because the games don't run. All right. We should be good. Attack? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. I put on my my bomber jacket because we're in Kazakhstan. Her ponytail is going cray cray. Oh, Anthony, somebody else said that, and I really should... Nathan said that too, I probably should enable it. But thank you, I... Uh, I should do that. <laughs> I should have done that. Just now. Maybe we'll be alright for the rest of it. I don't plan on alt-tabbing again. But I know it can be a bit glitchy. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us. Die! Die, everyone. This is so much fun. Kazakhstan is such a random location for a Tomb Raider level 2. Ah, uh, okay. If I have an issue, like a game break, game breaking bug, I'll uh, I'll I'll enable it. Oh my God, Mel! I can't I can't say I've imagined the same thing. There we go. It only took forty bullets. <laughs> I'm going to take this off. I'm getting a bit warm. A little bit warm. Okay. Now, I do struggle sometimes with the secrets in Kazakhstan. So I know that there's one here. There you are. I love this outfit. I love her brown boots. She's very colour coordinated. Yeah, I love it. Can I go in here? Nope. I know there's one there, but I will have to get that later. Would V-Sync stop bugs like this from happening? Because this is really annoying. When <laughs> she's like slanted on this ladder. Hi. Okay. If I get if I get another problem, I'll uh, I'll enable it. 
Like another big, big thing. Oh, they blow. That's why we need remasters, because how is little old me supposed to know that I'm supposed to enable V-Sync if I don't have people to tell me to do so? Like, I'm so stupid, I don't know these things. They need to do it for me. You are American. British. And it looks like we share an enemy. God. So thirsty. I know, me neither. I love Lara being so um, multilingual, like a polyglot. I do love that. One of my favorite things about Legend Lara is all of her languages. I do miss Blockbuster. Those guys both killed themselves. They're so stupid. Um, yeah, I do miss Blockbuster. I think the last thing I ever rented from Blockbuster was a Pokemon game. I really miss it. Alright, I'll heal. Only because you asked nicely. <laughs> Will, oh my god. <laughs> they see a gun and they're like, American, don't shoot me. That's terrible. The lab wouldn't be visible from above. We need maps. There it is. Okay, that makes sense, Anthony. It's true. I know that there's certain games where, isn't it in like an old Toy Story game? Because of um, the way that one of the bosses is designed, it's based on like a clock or something or like or like it's it's based on old frames per second that's why it it moves the way that it does and then on modern modern hardware it's impossible to defeat i feel like my brother told me this one it, may, it that could be incredibly niche what i've just said i don't know how if anyone knows what i'm talking about but oh i need to get this secret down here oh sorry lara i should have uh, realized beforehand Um, okay. Have I missed any secrets? I don't think so. Let me just try and visualize where the rest of them are. Okay, there's a silver one in that... Um... I can think of one, two... Three... Four... Five... I need one, two... Yeah, okay, I think I know where the rest of them are. I can, like, visualize them in my head. So that will do. <gasps> Train's leaving. That Amanda woman. Forget the train. Uh, it makes sense, Anthony. I'm very much a noob when it comes to PCs and stuff, so I'm glad I've got people like you that can tell me what I'm doing, because I'm a noob. I don't know anything. I have quite a good PC as well, and I have no idea how to how to work it. This section is really irritating. Oh, like, me too, me too, freak rate. This is probably the worst level in the game. Specifically, this motorcycle section is awful. It just is never ending. Usually when I play it, I try and enable the cheat to, um, have one-shot kills. Because, yeah. It just lasts way too long. I know. What was what is Alice's problem? 
Barris should be like, listen, Alistair. Amanda is a good Judy and we love her. Don't be throwing shade to her. You should be lucky that you even have a roof over your head. Okay, I'm out of med packs. I'm a bit concerned now. I'm concerned now. I'm just gonna have to stand here. I'm just gonna have to stay here and shoot him. You can't get me from here. This is so sad. Oh, there we go. Oh, I wanted to get both of them. We do need remasters. This song fucking slaps. Get some air. Don't tell me what I already know. Okay, you're the one sitting comfy in my house back in Surrey. Don't be telling me there's a long fall. I think I know that. Yeah! I never show off. Alright. We're back to business. Full on med packs. We're good. Yeah, this section is really buggy on the PC. Oh yeah, on the HD version it's even worse. That's why I don't have it turned on as well. I prefer how this looks, but I know that it, this level is really buggy on the HD version. Oops. Oh, go away. Yeah, I'm glad we're playing the original. It looks much nicer anyway. This art style looks looks better. I don't like the hyper-realism sometimes. Sometimes you want a nice... You want a nice cartoony game. That's what this is sometimes. Do you see that? They've destroyed one of the med packs. I know they could do that. Alright, I'm out of med packs again. This is great. You're awfully close, my friend. Oh, 100% ethos. Honestly, I'd like them to just do something different with Anniversary. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just not a fan of Anniversary. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to redo this. This is boring. I'm um, just... let's, uh... take a second. <laughs> that would be funny, then. That would be funny. Yeah, definitely were an, were an, um, an afterthought. <laughs> An HP and a dream. Honestly. Honestly. Ugh. It's killing my neck. I should have put it on easy mode. <laughs> Just so that I could kill them a lot faster. Alright. Back to business. Those shotgun guys are just absolute bastards. Now one more blast and it's over. <laughs> Honestly, I should cheat my way as much as I can. It's annoying because those um, cheat codes, I'm pretty sure they don't work unless you've um, finished the time trials. But if I'm, if I'm wrong on that, please let me know. I will enable the um, one-shot kill cheat because... Who can be bothered? Who can be bothered? I can't. Ouch. When it comes to cheats in games, like, the way I see it, 
I finished this game at least 50 times. Maybe that's an exaggeration. But I've played this game a lot. I'm like, I've done my time. I can cheat on live stream. It's fine. What even is the button that I'm supposed to press in order to change targets? Because you're right, it definitely doesn't work. The V-Sync will make this easier, do you think so? I would do, but I don't want um, to alt-tab because... Oh god. Because it, um... Like... Let's see. It screws the whole game up. It may maybe that will make the thing... The alt-tab thing stop doing it, but... I don't want us to delay us much. I need those medkits! I need them both! I need them both. I'm going back. I know I'm falling behind, but I need the med kit. I didn't even get it. <laughs> How can the train have outrun me that quickly? Like, I think, I think that's a stretch. I think that's a stretch. Oh. T on keyboard and probably the aim button. Oh, okay. How do I enable cheats? It's like they're pressing backspace, isn't it? Yeah, that's not really doing anything. Okay. This section sucks. I was so excited to play Tomb Raider Legend. And like the camera won't really shift again. Like, I only went back for a little med pack. Like, I don't think the train is going that quickly if this motorbike can outrun it. Like, I could have caught up speed again. It's just silly. It's just silly. Should I try the next gen mode then? Is that going to make it easier? If it turns the FPS down. I mean, what will that do, though? Woo! The problem is... I can only carry three med packs. And, and the cars haven't even come yet. The big trucks haven't even come. And I've got no med packs left. Alright, slow down, slow down, slow down. Two! Yes! I love Mario Kart. Should I put the Mario Kart music on this? Wait, that might be a good idea. If I die again, I'm putting the Mario Kart. Uh, I can't alt tab though. Mm. I don't know. I'll just sit here. I'll just sit here by the train. See, if this was classic Clara, she would have just hopped from the train to, from her motorbike to the train. She could have just jumped straight on from here and it wouldn't have been an issue. In fact, Classic Clara wouldn't have been so bombastic to let the train go in the first place. She would have already been on the train. Her aim is so trash. I do want to see it. Oh my god. I'll stop everything I'm doing. I'll stop everything I'm doing. I would love to see it. <laughs> if you're willing to share. If you're willing to divulge. <laughs> How are we doing for medkits? There's one over there. Zoom! I got one. Oh shit, this isn't good. Really? That's interesting. I can give it a go. If I get bodied again, then I'll 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 try it. Someone put on the coconut mall theme. Oh my god. Ooh, that's exciting though. 
Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm excited to see it though. To me, that is the world. That is the world to me. All right, we'll try it this way. Maybe this will, will make a difference. But um, when I put on my thing, I put it at 60 FPS when I made did the setup. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference. But we'll see. This does look so much better, you know. No, they're still hitting me. <laughs> they ain't missing. Ouch. This section sucks. I always hated this when I was younger too. Yeah, this has always been a really annoying section. Also, tell me why shooting the guy at the top of the truck with the gun, why do I kill that guy and the guy that's driving disintegrates? Um, how does that make any sense? It is so hard to read your comments because it's so long and I'm like doing this. <laughs> Okay, okay, I see. Well, shit. Next time I'll know. <laughs> I'll, I'll enable it. She's got a bloody assault rifle on her back. These guys are doing, using a shotgun one-handed and I'm, I'm using this dainty pistol. What are we thinking? He rage quit here? No way. <laughs> Did he actually? I don't blame the man. Do not blame him. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh my god. Um, I must have alt-tabbed accidentally. Oh god. <laughs> what was that section I was really struggling with on stream? Oh, Older Witch. This is Older Witch all over again. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Okay. How do I enable setup? Setup. Uh, enable V-Sync. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there, people. I do apologize. Thank you for bearing with me. Enable V-Sync. Cool. All right. <laughs> My hair's off. <laughs> Thanks, Alexander. Thank you. It's my mullet. It's freshly washed. That's why it looks as luxurious <laughs> today on this occasion. So thanks. The next gen crash. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll remember it for next time. The V sync. Always enable. I don't know what all these things do. I don't know computers. I'm rubbish. I can tell when I'm older I'm going to be one of those annoying old people that is like, I don't have a computer at home. That's going to be me. I don't have a VR headset. Oh, the next gen may be broken. Uh. Oh, I nearly hit a tree. Either or, Julian, either or. I would love to see it. If you can post it here, then then go for it. If you want everybody else to see it. Otherwise... Oh, I hit a tree. Not the birch. Other otherwise, 
share it on Twitter. I'd love to. Oh my god, what the fuck? It just happened again. Oh, oh man. Oh no, seriously, what is going on? What is going on? I'm getting frustrated. What the fuck? Uh, can I just say, never has Angel of Darkness crashed. Never has it crashed. It's never crashed for me. Never crashed. Tomb Raider 4, Tomb Raider Legend. It's getting silly. It's getting silly. Ah, oh, brother. It would help if I had a controller. It would make a difference. Send it on Twitter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Do you want me to share it on stream or rather not? Because I would, I would share it on stream if you wanted me to. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. This might be a nice little break. It might make me feel really nice. <gasps> I can share it on stream. E Exactly, Athos. Everybody gives AOD shit and it's actually fine. It works fine. Oh my god. Okay, everybody, we have something more exciting than Tomb Raider Legend. Who cares about Tomb Raider Legend? We've got a fun little Angel of Darkness snippet uh, that we can we can watch together, okay? So let's... Um, what I'll do is I'll... Um, sugar. Let me just figure out how best to do this. I don't want to be weird about it, so, okay. Um, all right, 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 all right. Let me figure out how best to do this. Stream full screen, okay, yeah, good. That's good. Um, sorry, everybody, give me just a second to figure out how I'm doing this. Oh, that looks terrible. Ooh. Um, Chrome. Good, okay. Um, Freak Creator has asked us to watch this one first. So we're watching this one first, and then we'll watch the other one, okay? I I need headphones, obviously. Ugh. So this is just the cutscene that I believe we've been remade. This is the original. I love how she goes to like duff it open and then just kicks it open in the end. Like clearly she like popped it once and was like, ow, that didn't work. I'll kick it this time. This is the cutscene. This is the cutscene we've remade. The heat's remade. So we're going to watch this. And now this is the new one. Ooh! I love it! You did what I just said! You did what I just said! Ah! This is awesome! Oh, was the audio quiet for that? Was the audio quiet for that for you guys as well? That was really sick! That was really sick, Freak Raider! I loved it! I love it! I love seeing AOD Lara all animated and everything. She looks so good. I can't believe you did exactly what I just said as well. That's so crazy. I love that. This is awesome. Oh, 
nice. It's all oh, this so cool. It's really cool. Ah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. I absolutely adored that and I can't wait to see um to see what you come up with for the rest of the game. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad it was better. Um for some reason it's it's not 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 working. Yes, Tomb Raider Legend, yes, yes. There we go. Oh, gosh, that was so exciting. I need to calm down. That was that was a lot. That did cheer me up. That did cheer me up. Gosh, I'm like, oh exhausted now. That was so exciting. Yeah, I, I remember that too. And I was looking at um Freak Crater, I was looking at your clip on um uh Parisian Ghetto with the Le Serpent Rouge and the nighttime and um I love the backpack that you put on Lara um for that section too. This is so specific, I know, but I'm a stickler for details like that sort of stuff, so I, I really I liked that a lot. Um and yeah, I just can't wait to see more. That was really exciting. I adored that. I really adored that. Oh god. Back to this shit. Oh god, she controls like a bloody shopping trolley. And not like a Tesco one, like a little one. Like a really shit little one. Bloody hell. That was so special. I'm so glad you shared that with us. I'm so happy. Have I mentioned that I adore Angel of Darkness? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Zip. I know what I'm doing. I'm the Tomb Raider bitch, not you. Shopping trolley rap. <laughs> Honestly. How are they in a t shirt as well? Do you know where we are? You must be chilly. Yeah, T is not changing target like I feel like it should do. Maybe G? No. I don't know what the right button should be. Ah, I got them both. I'm so good at this game. Oh, hi, Ethan. Thank you for joining. My favorite game in this trilogy is um, Underworld. I love Legend a lot too though. Legend is um Ooh heal heal heal. Legend is very silly goofy nonsense, which I love. Big fan of that. But um Underworld is oh such a vibe. I love it. My pers favorite outfit, sorry, my favorite outfit in Legend. Hmm. Um I like biker without the jacket, like the outfit she usually wears when she's at home. I love that outfit. It's probably one of my favourites. All of the biker outfits are pretty nice, actually. Um, and I do also like the the goth lace shirt. I love that one too. Ooh! Honestly, so long as we can just get through this level, we're fine. We'll, we'll be happy, we'll be safe. It's giving- you know what it's giving, Will? It's giving Postman wearing shorts in December. What's that about? Why do they do that? Oh yeah, I like the urban camo one too. 
The like special forces one where she's got the like vest as well. It's nice, it's nice. Yeah, you're right, um, you're right, Kasumi. This is the only version of Lara where she's, like, genuinely a pretty chill person. The rest of them, yeah, she is kind of a bit nutso. But that's why we love her. That's why we love her. Please say that's the end of it. Please say that's the end of it. That's it. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, that was terrible. I think I had a conversation with one because one came into our workplace and he did give a reason. He said that because they're moving all the time, like, they keep really warm, so it doesn't matter that they wear shorts. But I was like... That's baloney, isn't it? I don't know. Is anybody checking up on the postmen? Why do they have to do that? Has anybody asked the postman if they're okay? It's ridiculous. You know, <laughs> the funny thing about streaming these games is I start the game being like, I really love Tomb Raider Legend, oh, I really love Tomb Raider 4, and then I finish the game thinking, God, this game is actually kind of awful. Or this game just is not as good as I remember it being. Oh, okay. Oh god, oh god, she's- oh god, oh, just all over the shop. <sighs> this game is testing my patience, I tell you what. I'm just glad. I love this part. <laughs> so gay, what the hell? Do ignore that. Yeah, I'm just glad I got some bloody... I, I enjoyed watching that. I enjoyed watching that. This part's really good too. I'll, I'll, I'll kill her this time too. Yeah, I'm just glad we got some bloody checkpoints now. Watch her face, watch her face here. <laughs> that was fun to watch. <sighs> oh yeah, Ethan. We'll definitely be playing Underworld. 100%. After Legend, we'll do Underworld. I'm planning to finish Underworld tonight. It's going to be quite late when we finish it, so I hope everyone <laughs> wants to stay up, wants to stay up and watch me, because it will be quite late. But I want to kind of get it all over and done with in one session. I feel like I just lived through a train wreck. You? you and me both, Sip. Amanda's already inside. Uh, not sure when we'll get to Underworld. Maybe tomorrow, uh, or the next day. From Indonesia. Oh my gosh, hello. Greetings. Hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks for joining us. I'm trying to work out what best to call you. Maybe Aftal? Thanks for joining Aftal. Yeah, honestly, Zen, that's how I'm feeling now. No, I still love it. I mean, the vibes are immaculate for Legend. They're great vibes. But oh my goodness, we need a little bit of a uh, face tune, don't we? Just a little bit. Have I missed a secret? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the PS2 version I've never had an issue with, I don't feel. It just goes to show the PS2 is the supreme console. I've still got mine somewhere. I think it's at my parents' place. Ah, lovely. It's getting colder. Well, no kidding, Lara. You're not by the giant fiery train wreck anymore. The poor fellow. I don't know if I told you guys. I don't think I don't think I've streamed since it happened. But a lady at my workplace asked me about my accent. She was like, "I love your accent. Where are you from?" Bear in mind, I've lived in the same like county my whole life. And I'm pretty sure I sound the exact same as everybody else. But I was like, oh, I don't know. It's just... Southern? <laughs> and she was like... You've just got a nice, like, twang. I don't know. And I was like, gay? Yeah, that's it. I just sound like a posh gay twat, babe. That's all it is. I don't know what to say. flashback to when I was doing my uh, parents' evening and my teacher would say, yes, Jason is very, um, what's, what's the word? Articulate. Jason's very articulate. Well, it was foreshadowing. Look at the lights. She's only found the emergency power. She came in through the main door. I like how this level is lit here. This looks really nice. The lighting in this room. It's a map of the facility. Very retro. It probably looks like a carnival sideshow in the power zone. Oh. Okay. Up we go. Now I'm no expert, but I imagine that says danger. In another language. But I could be wrong. I'm no scientist or a translator. Ugh. That should do it. Oh, lovely. You have to admire this map simplicity. And what do you know? It looks just like a carnival sideshow. So there's us. We're here. We're going to go through there. The final boss is over there, but we've got to do all this other crap around here first, so we've got to go do that. I wonder if that's toxic. I guess it's cooling, but who knows what kind of lethal crap system we're using. Ah, okay. You know more Russian than I do, then. I wish I knew another language, but I can only speak my very limited GCSE Spanish. And I struggle enough with English as it is, so... But I'd love to speak another language. I have a lot of German ancestry, and I wish that I had learnt German when I was younger. I wish my dad had taught me it. But alas... Oh, 
Amanda? Damn it, Laura, I'm busy. Goth queen of the century. Lara would have bullied Amanda. Amanda would have been the alt goth chick, and Lara would have been the popular mean girl plastic. And she'd have bullied her. I just know it. <laughs> I'm all up for lessons. All up for lessons. 100%. <laughs> Dig. Lara's so pretty. She was doing the like pleading face, like the face, like a puppy. Oh my god, free crater! While you're here, I have to tell you how much I miss a video that you uploaded like a long time ago. <laughs> pause to talk about this you uploaded a video like years and years and years ago and i don't think you've got it up anymore but it was a video of you making fun of rise of the tomb raider and you were doing like all of the voiceovers for lara and she was like climbing and you were going like <laughs> it was so fucking funny and i wish that you still had it up because i was trying to find it once and i was so upset that it wasn't available because it was so fucking funny <laughs> and i think about it like at least once a year at least once a year, I think about this silly video. <laughs> I can do this! Because <laughs> how she talks. That's how she talks. She did gag Lara. <laughs> Lara has never picked up a shovel, nor a paintbrush, and dusted away. <laughs> Oh my god, are you gonna are you gonna get me the real goods? I'm so excited. If I get to see this video again, I'll be so happy. Well no kidding, Zip. I think I knew that. Discharge? No chick for light sauce? <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, good. I'm glad they still exist because they were so fucking funny. I feel like he had another one. I'm trying to remember what some of them were, but yeah, that'll be fun to go and watch again. <laughs> Pew! Ah, oh, that's lame. What? YouTube can be a bit funny with links, I think. Another scientist. No warmth for him up here either. They funnel Tesla energy. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll have a look later. Thank you. KTB shut down the operation, removed the core, sealed off the lab and sections, and left behind no scientists who weren't forcibly removed. I love how Lara just interrupted Alistair. She's like, alright, that's enough of you. Well, I'd imagine they're hanging cords and sockets. That's what I'd imagine they are. Oh, does it, Anthony? Okay. There's a car up ahead. <laughs> oh, well, oh. Well, we've seen it now. Nah, I'll just keep to me the nuts. Well, all right then. I know how to move it. 
Right, let's go. Hello, Lara. Hello, Lara. How the hell did you get on this channel? Hush, Sip. She must have taken a headset while she was rearranging your office. You're so smart. You're so smart, Lara. Do you know why the Soviets called their project Carbonek? It's the castle where Lancelot sought the Holy Grail. Not the first. Oh, really? Boy, a myth I've come across. Myth, she calls it. Oh, that's weird. Why is YouTube censoring us? It's my channel, we can say what we want here. As much as anyone, I suppose. The Russians activated a power in the artifact that literal minds can't handle, and it destroyed them. So don't push the wrong buttons. You'd better not either. But I know which ones are the right ones. You've learned to read Russian since I last saw you, a man. She hung up. A man? She's having difficulty obtaining a sword fragment, but she doesn't want to blow everything up in the process. Uh, maybe you should have told him another unlucky scientist. L I love it. Lara just keeps interrupting everybody. <laughs> There's so much talking. Used to repeat the experiment, and when the KGB tried to persuade them otherwise, it got nasty. Is that supposed to stop? <laughs> so what the fuck is this? There's so much talking. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Oh. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Cute epilepsy. See, Lara, I wouldn't screw around with this. Oh, how strange. Oh, I'm sorry that happened, Anthony. I prefer doorknobs. Yeah, I'm with you there, Lara. Gosh, my eyes are having a funny time with this level. Trust, I haven't been censoring anything myself. I don't even know how to do that. I'm still not quite sure what V-Sync is, <laughs> so I haven't censored anybody, I promise. I see. Yeah. It's a she. Tenth or eleventh century. Probably recovered with the piece How strange. Oh, I don't know why. Crest, doesn't it? Yeah, what if the banner had existed? Oh, what's this now? It looks like a map. Have a good look and see what you can make of it. What do you think it's for? Maybe our knight needed help finding the way home. Or perhaps this piece wasn't all he had. Gosh, Legend Lara is so beautiful. I just can't get over it. Goodbye, Thought. Oh. Goodbye. Thought. This is so much fun. Oh my god. Oh. Let's try again. Boom. Let's try again. Boom! Oh god, come on. Uh, yeah! 
Oh, this guy is so hard to hit. Alright. Oh, too high. Too short. I got him! Brilliant. She is perfect, Athos. She's so pretty. Oh my god, should I do a tier list on Lara Croft models? Like, which is the best best Lara's ever looked and such? Yeah, still getting all secrets. That's a good point. Oh, we're good for secrets. We're good for secrets, Will. It's just this one I need to get. This is one of those ones I had to look up Stella's website for, because I really struggled with this one. In fact, I think I still struggle with this one. Go, go, go! Uh, there we go. There we go. Ah, uh, hi, Mbog. How are you? I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks for joining us. We're playing Tomb Raider Legend. We're going to finish it all in one stream. I'm determined. And we've only got a couple. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Yeah, I know. This one was always so hard. Ah, oh, but we got it. We made it. Yeah, this level always used to give me a lot of problems. This was one of those Stella's website moments. Oh, 100%. 100% Julian. In fact, she might even be spoiler alert. She might even be number one. Although Conrad's model for um, the classic remasters is also very high. That's probably number one, to be honest. But I'd have to rank them first, wouldn't I? Maybe that will be my next video. God, I'm just going to make tier lists from now on. <laughs> but I can't really think of... Oh shit, my bad. I forgot what the duck button was. <laughs> I can't really think of a new video to make. I know I should really film something tomorrow. Because I've got another day off. But I just can't really think of what to do. <laughs> A1 face card. But even this section, this part, Will, I always struggled with too. And I was really confused how to defeat this boss. But. Very nostalgic, Lucas. Yeah, I love this game too. Thank you for joining. Hope you're having a, lo a lovely night. A lovely day. I don't think that was a good thing. I tamed it then. I made it my own. The way Amanda's just wearing a coat. Like, she's not wearing a bra. She's not wearing anything underneath that coat. She's just got titties out. The future of Tomb Raider? Um, I'm optimistic. Well, am I? <laughs> I am and I'm not. I'm looking forward to whatever comes. Of course. But I just don't anticipate getting anything close to what we used to have. Again. I just feel like things are going to start going a bit... I don't know. Just in a direction I'm not going to love as much. Yeah, Angie Najoli would be high too. I think she's got a she's got a look that's hard to replicate. I've seen some people do really good mods that look like Angie Najoli, but I feel like it's a hard look to to nail without it looking a little bit unca uncanny valley, you know. Oh, <laughs> never gets cold is so true. <laughs> Do you know what used to really bother me when I was younger? When Lara would say, Zip, what do I need to do? And he'd say, I don't know. I'd be like, what do you mean you don't know? 
Because I don't know what to do either. And it used to really confuse me. And I was like, why, why am I not getting a hint here? But then Stella came in for the rescue. So it's all okay. It's really quite cool and interesting that they found this power source in the artifact and used it as a source of energy. I think for a Tomb Raider game to incorporate that as a storyline is actually really quite cool and unique. Um, so I really, I like that a lot. Cornwall? I could do. I could do, yeah. Controversial Tomb Raider stuff. I did have somebody mention maybe reacting to some um, old, like, documentaries and things, which would be interesting. But um, there is another person on Tomb Raider YouTube that's already kind of done some of that stuff, so I'd be a little a little worried to, to do it, only because I don't want to steal anybody's thunder. Um, Curse Croft does really cool, cool videos, and I really love um, what he does. And I don't want to step on anybody's toes, so. Unfortunately, <laughs> are you? The real King Arthur's tomb here years ago, soon discredited, and yet another roadside attraction. Oh, maybe one day, Kiko. Well, let's see what we can. <laughs> Do you mean because of Zip? Be <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Yeah, this outfit's awesome. Hi, hi, gay. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Honestly, that just sums up how Crystal Dynamics likes to tweet these days. Hi, gay. Lara Croft slays in the remasters. Buy the backpack now. And we have power. This level is awesome. I really do enjoy this level. Cut to when I have problems with that boss fight and I can't do it. Then I'll be like, I hate this level. There's no difference between stupid and charming with you, is there? I love Lara's sass. I miss the sass. I can't wait to see more of your remake, honestly. Recreator, I'm so excited. What you're doing is the Lord's work. We're so awesome. <laughs> That's funny. I would like to listen to all of these dialogues from Zip and Alistair and, uh, the museum stuff. But I don't want to. Yeah, Lucas, this is a cool level. It's a really good one. This one and the Japan level are probably my favorites. Which is funny because they're the, like, not very tomb levels, are they? They're very modern levels. But sometimes, like, t Tomb Raider works very well when it does modern stuff.
There we go. Give Professor Worth some credit. Oh, probably not Freak Raider. We can dream, we can hope, but... Oh. No one will give us the goods like you will. This must be our kindly professor's office space. as his reputation. Said the pot to the kettle. Hmm. Professor Worth says here that the tomb of King Arthur, the one his museum's built over, is a fake. Oh, I don't know how to descend the forklift. <laughs> Which platforming part do you mean? I'm surprised I managed to do that um, forklift stuff first time, because usually I struggle with that. Oh god. This is, this is annoying. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I know. I have an idea. I have an idea. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> well, it's just crazy when you see... um. If you've seen, um, actually I have to take off my headphones just to be able to like hear myself think when it comes to Zip and Alistair. It's hard to... <laughs> I just can't. I just can't with them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. What I wanted to say is crazy if you, if anybody follows, um, Leto on, um, YouTube or on Twitter, he's remade a whole bunch of cutscenes and he's done it like very, very quickly. Um, it would have been nice if they had hired, like, even somebody like him to, like, do a couple of, um, a couple of cutscenes. I know it's a lot of work, but why not go through the effort? <laughs> That's funny, Will. It's true. This level, I don't think it used to... I didn't really used to get stuck on this one. The Kazakhstan level used to really, really struggle with. Oh. And I think Peru, I used to get stuck on Peru too. I don't quite know how, but... I was a... I was a, a young boy. That's bad enough. They asked him? There's no way, there's no way that's true. Is that true? They asked him and he said no. I'm flabbergasted. If that's true. I think I've missed a secret up here. Oh, I so did. Wee! I don't believe that. Tell me more. <laughs> um. No. Oh, I. Hope I can get that later. I was so dead set on that other secret. Oh my god. You know when they say ignorance is bliss? That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Knowing what we could have had. Aww. Oh well. Well, they clearly must not have offered him a lot of money, because that's crazy. <laughs> oh, no worries, Julian. Thank you so much for dropping by, and thanks for sharing that thing as well. I'm so blessed to, to have you here, because um, I'm such a big fan. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good night. I know it must be very late for you as well. Good night, sleep well, and yeah, hopefully catch you sometime soon. Alright, take care. I wonder if I can just shoot this. No, it's not gonna move, is it? No, nope. okay. Oh, my boots! Oh no. <laughs> my boots are on fire. Looks 
I pissed it too much. Crap. Ah, booyah. That was good. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> I'm proud of boots. Are you wearing the, the Chanel boots? Yes, I am. The thighs with no damage. I already failed it. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Nah. I was like, can I can I get through the rest of this without stopping them? I was like, yeah, I could. But, uh, I won't. Oh, there's a secret here. Oh, I see BA sometimes. Is it in that one or the other one? I can never remember. I think it's in this one. Maybe I can be quick enough. Come on, slow down. Slow down. It's not going to slow down, is it? Why isn't it slowing down? I want to just roll past it. It's not going to do it, is it? Oh, man. And she's bashing her head like she's on a bus window. There we go. Oh, Embog, I would love if they did. Because I love Alicia. I think she's so sweet. And I can genuinely tell that she loved doing that Tomb Raider movie. I feel really bad for her because she's... I don't think she's going to continue in any future Tomb Raider movies. But I would love for her to return. Because I think she's awesome. She's a cool person. And I bet she's a sweetheart in real life. Like, as a celebrity to me, I reckon she's a really nice one. I'm a big fan of her. Whee! Oh, that took a chunk of my health. Well, that's fine. I must remember to go back and get that cross. Ones that I missed in that room, because I'm a bit annoyed at myself for missing those. I love this tune. Oh, do you know what I want to play? I want to play Mists of Avalon, the level editor game. My absolute favourite. This is giving me vibes. I miss them. Oh, thank you, Lucas. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. That's such a funny thing to say after what Lucas said. Now I'm like, do I need a hug? But yeah, there are lots of... um. Loose ends, you're right. Um, I'm kind of against us doing any more, like, movies or stuff. I kind of want them to just focus the franchise and not dilute it by doing a whole bunch of other media. Like, I don't know if anybody remembers when they said, like, a couple years ago, maybe like a year ago, they said, we want Tomb Raider to be, like, a Marvel-level universe with, like, a movie and anime and it's all interconnected and interwoven and oh my god when I heard that stuff I just absolutely cringed and I was like oh please don't do any of that that sounds dreadful 
each other too well when you're under I missed a secret over here. Oh Sorry. God. Need to go back and get it. Hey, I heard that. This outfit is so badass, though. They had no right being this badass. Does anybody know if the boss in this level is based on, like, some English mythic sea serpent from, like, folklore or mythology? Because it's very strange to just have this sea serpent. Um, I just wondered if it was based on something. I have a very strange fascination with, um, like, folklore creatures and myths and things, like, um, Wendigos and, um, Bigfoot and that kind of stuff. I don't know why, but it, this, that stuff always really fascinates me, and I just wonder if this is based on something, too. Yeah. It's just crazy that Tomb Raider and Resident Evil came out at the same time, and Resident Evil has had such huge success and hasn't burned out as much as Tomb Raider has, it bothers me. Raider cast, yeah, he, maybe he has covered it. It sounds like something he would talk about. Will you look at that? Oh, this is This great. is pretty cool having this console under here. Alistair's not impressed. He's like, hmm, that's interesting. A Hydra? Well, a Hydra is one of those ones where you kill one head and another two go in its place. Um, so I don't know if it's quite the same thing, but maybe it is. To be honest, I don't know much about Hydra. Is Hydra like not a, um... A Greek, a Greek myth? I don't know. I just wondered if there was an, e an English one. I'm not sure though, I could be wrong. I love to learn, so I'm all for learning. Whee! All right. I like this cutscene a lot. Signal four, Lara. What are we looking at? We're looking at myths, except it's real. They're all here. The court of Camelot. You're sure about this? King Arthur, who was to verily of ye loins of usurper and dragon? Hmm? I've no doubt about the authenticity of this tomb, Alistair. Arthur was the 11th century figure that became legend. The once and future king was as real then as the air I'm breathing now. I don't know, Laura. Oh, this is such a cool cutscene. Sword and stone. That's how it always goes, isn't it? I'm not doing that, Embog. <laughs> Swords and stones, Alistair. I'm not playing that game. I'm so sorry. Give me some fictional characters. Swords and deuses all over the world. Because they were everywhere. So you're saying that everywhere they went, they raised up kings, shaping the course of human destiny? Well, it's a possibility. Oh, okay. A denizen. Oh, okay. Perhaps they're in Avalon. It's as good a place as any. That's so, very interesting still, though. I can look into that. Excalibur was left in pieces in the hands of the locals. So where is Avalon? I don't know. On the other side of the looking glass, perhaps? Fascinating. It says Bedivere returned a fragment of Excalibur to Arthur, 
after the other pieces were carried off by the knights. What is she reading? She says it says, but she's just reading your words is better of it, like. It says this fragment was left with Arthur to help him leave the know. mausoleum when the time came. Perhaps it will help me instead. Like she's read she's saying it says, like there's some engraving. There's nothing else on there, babe. I can't see anything. Is there another secret in here? I feel like there is, but I could be wrong. I thought it would be behind one of these, but I don't see it. Oh, come on. I wish I could give you the excuse that English isn't my first language, but it is, so I have no excuse. I have no excuse for that. <laughs> I'm gonna marry... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna kill young Lara. I'm gonna marry Shrek, because Shrek is a sweetheart. And I'm gonna, um, kiss the dirty shoe. I'm worried I've screwed up this <laughs> in this pulling thing. I'll put it down to a blonde moment as well. Oh. Oh, have I screwed this over? Did you see that? It hit it. Also, do you see this? Hang on. Crystal Dynamics says up there. Crystal Dynamics. Yeah, very good, guys. Very good. Do I not have any grenades left? Oh no, we're in trouble here. Oh man. Have I soft locked myself out of this game? Oh come on. What the hell? <laughs> Just hit it, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit, a little bit gross. A little bit gross. Is there a restart checkpoint thing? No. <laughs> there isn't. Oh, hang on. Maybe I can do it this way. Uh, close enough. <laughs> it's got to be done in a straight line. I'm sorry. I've got to do this in a straight line. My bad. says this fragment was left with Arthur to help him leave this mausoleum when the time came. Perhaps it will help me instead. Oh, you're joking. 
I didn't ask her to do that. There we go. Gosh. I wouldn't take Excalibur if I didn't need it, so I hope you can forgive me. Her bangs? I like her bangs. Nah. I like her hair in this game, actually. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, I'm so glad that hit, because... This boss can be really frustrating, actually. Put your gun away, idiot! Oh, no. I can't remember who I was watching play this part, but they were having such a trouble, hard time with it. <laughs> Alright, I've got the controls under under control. <laughs> yeah, I like her hairstyle in this game and in Ancient Darkness a lot. Where she's got like those... Oh gosh, hello. She's got like those strands of hair in front of her eyes. I think they look really nice. She looks very edgy. Oh, here we go. Spit in the middle. You mean like the reboot? <laughs> You've got to be absolutely perfect with your timing there. It's so difficult. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I've seen a lot of people say they want more customization options, like um, changing hairstyles and using different top with a different backpack and stuff, which is a little bit Sims, but I don't know. I, I think it's a nice idea, a neat idea. Um, as long as I just change that hairstyle from the reboot, I'll be happy. Like, this hairstyle's fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Lara's hair in the reboot, sometimes, from certain angles, is really nice. Looks really good. By shadow, I don't know, it looks awful in shadow. You know what's funny about that? I saw someone do like a thread on Claire Redfield and they used a screenshot of um, a woman's silhouette and it was Lara Croft from the reboot and I was like, that's not Claire Redfield, that's Lara Croft. So any, any bitch with a ponytail these days is just Lara Croft. Sorry, it's just Claire Redfield. It's so indistinguishable from any of them. I thought that was hilarious. What are we doing for secrets? Oh no, have I missed a secret somewhere? 
Have I missed a silver secret somewhere? Oh, that's not good. I feel the need to say the F word now. Oh. Hi, Satella. How are you doing? I'm really good. I'm so glad you could be here. You cutie pie. Hope you're having a lovely day. It's been a, a very long stream, but we're still going. Oh god, oh hello. I was too distracted by my friend. Leave me alone. Um, my favorite in the new trilogy is Rise. Ooh. My favorite in the new trilogy is Rise, and my least favorite is Shadow, without a doubt. I'm a big fan of Rise. I think the gameplay in that game is really, really good, really fun. <laughs> no, Athos, it's a video of, um, I've forgotten the name of the lady, but she's, um, a television presenter, it's a meme, and she goes, oh, that's not good. I feel the need to say the F word now. Yeah. Oh sure, I'll turn on I'll turn on the light, sorry. If it's dark. Yeah. I agree, Unicorn Fart. Shadow is just a a monstrous game. In a bad way. <laughs> the best her hair looked was probably either in this game. Oh I I do like her hair in anniversary actually. Um, or Angel Dance. But I would say that I'm Angel Darkness lover. Sympathizer. All the above. Is there a secret in here? No. I've totally missed a silver secret somewhere. I'm really upset. Oh my god! Oh, that actually scared me. Oh no. He just died. He just jumped in the fire. Oh my gosh. Um, I like all of those games. Between the two, I think I prefer Guardian of Light to Temple of Osiris. It's just a personal preference. I think it's a bit of a better game and a better structure. I don't think I like the open worldness of Temple of Osiris that much, but I'm just not a big fan of open world games at all. I like kind of the plot and the urgency of um, Guardian of Light a bit better. No way. <laughs> really well. Is that the woman and she wears the glasses? Because she's hilarious. The one that was like, I don't know, some shirtless guy and she was like, oh, I would. Because <laughs> she's hilarious. Where's this silver secret that I've missed? Oh, I'm really bummed about that. Damn it. I was, I've not been very careful with this level. Um, oh, there's a bronze secret down there. I've... I got that one. I picked that one up. Oh man. I'm irritated. I mean, I could go down, but I'm not gonna. Well, that's that. I've missed quite a few secrets then. Hmm. How irritating. I'm very confident as well with this game usually. Poor doggy. It's quite mean of them to put dogs dogs in this game for me to kill. I mean, I know I was killing Doberman and Tomb Raider 2 with no issue, but it's still. Oh, no worries, Embog. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Oh, is it a different lady? Oh, I see. Yeah, she's awesome. She's hilarious. Scouse icon. Oh my gosh. We're coming to the end of the game, finally. 
Thank you for sticking with me, everybody, because I know this has been a very long one. Been a very long game. Been a very long stream. Uh, but I knew that I could do it all in one go. Probably would have been wise to split it into two. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like a pit bull, so I feel a bit, a bit better about killing a pit bull than if it was like a Hello, Labrador. <laughs> but I do like when some games let you avoid killing the dogs entirely. Although I don't really have pets. I'm not really a pet person, so I don't mind. I'm not like, yeah, it made me kill the dog. Mm. Look, I don't care that much. Hi, JVD. I'm great, thank you. You've come at a great time because we've only got a couple more levels to do and then we finished Tomb Raider Legend, although I'm really annoyed with myself for missing those secrets brilliant. in that level. This is brilliant. King Arthur was real. That's true. The yeah, the last of us two has real. has better and dogs because right here in you can us. avoid killing them. Those Except that one that you kill in the cutscene. Yeah. It's even bigger than that, Alistair. Me too, creative. What Arthur called Excalibur I miss the old Lara too. Artifact that predates him by millennia. Well, it's still in pieces. Who brought the super glue? While I was in Ghana, I love his iPod Nano just wrapped around his neck. No luck, I take it. It was not among your father's collection, or his records. It wasn't in Ghana. Acrobatic Lara. I mean, I'd like to. I certainly would like to. Um. I'd like Clara to go back to that that style. Certainly would. Do I think that we'll get it? There she is with that long ass ponytail again. A striking resemblance, don't you? It's just the chat. It's just the chat. Was a gift from your father. Um. I never knew from do I think we're getting it? I I couldn't now. say. Do I want to? It? It Absolutely. It's in the Himalayas. My mother. I'd love to finally get some. Alistair? Screenshots or some just an official reveal of the next Evening, game. Usually. I really would. We'll take care of it. Just so we can, on, you know, not to minimize our expectations or just manage our expectations. I guess is what I'm trying to say. She removed the sword. That's what killed her. Yeah, Keely Hawes is probably the best, best actress they've got to fill up. He tried so hard. I wonder if she would do the mocap for it. That would slay. It bloody well wasn't love, was it? His reputation was destroyed. Now there's more than one thing to be salvaged from that mountain top. Oh, she's excellent. She is excellent. The wreckage should be just on the other side. I can't see anything. You sure you're in the right spot? I never forget a face. Wonderful. Well, this is the penultimate level of the game. And then we're nearly done. And I doubt any of that snow and ice is stable. You should keep moving before it breaks on you. I have done this before, you know. I have done this before, you know. So I don't think I'll play Croft Manor once we finish the game. I think I'm gonna finish the game and then we're gonna head off because it is getting late. And I need my beauty sleep. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that was manic. I did not mean to do that. Um, so we'll finish the game. And then I anticipate maybe another half an hour. And then I'll save Croft Manor for another time. Maybe we can play like a little bit of Croft Manor and just have a little bit of a kiki for like an hour. Maybe we can do that. Maybe tomorrow. Make it a short, short but sweet stream. A little catch up between friends. That could be fun. Now what? I'm gonna shoot the bloody ice down. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I love Legend. What a ride this has been. Look how beautiful this is, too. It's pretty. So pretty.
Well, somehow they managed to make their way from this plane crash all the way to that temple out in the out all the way over there. Then after her mother died, or like was zapped in that portal, we're supposed to believe that Lara just trekked to a nearby village by herself at nine years old. Like, I'm so sorry, Lara. You'd you'd be dead. This is why I prefer the um the storyline oh god. In the survive in the classic timeline where Lara survives the Himalayas incident when she was like twenty one. I prefer that storyline so much more. How to get like nine years old is a bit a bit far fetched. That's one of Rutland's. I told him to mind his own business, and here he is following me to the ends of the earth. Maybe he heard you wrong. You think he's in there? I doubt it. Not when he could be at home with his feet up. I'd love to be at home with my feet up. Oh wait. I'm already doing part of of that. Ow. Oh, sure, JBD. Okay, so... In Classic Lara's original um, biography, when she was, um, like, 21, when she was attending her finishing school, she was engaged to a man, the Earl of Farringdon, and she went, uh, she was on a skiing trip, skiing holiday with her school in the Swiss Alps and on the way home her plane crashed in the Himalayas and she was the only survivor and it's where Lara learned basically survival skills and how to depend on herself to survive and that's where she felt only truly alive when she was traveling alone and she had this big revelation on this incident and uh, it changed her life and she came back to England and called off her engagement and she decided she wanted to be her own woman and she wanted to seek a life of danger and excitement and drama and uh, her parents disowned her and then she went to do all the other tomb raiding stuff like defeating T-Rexes and writing books about it. So that's what uh, is in Lara's classic biography. And I have a whole video on my YouTube channel talking all about that. Um, it's called, like, Everything You Need to Know About Classic Lara. So, uh, you can always check that out if you would like to. Yeah. I think it's also down to Keely Hall's performance as well. She's got just a really great, like... I'm sure she's reading these scripts and is like, I've got no idea what what's re really going on. But because she's um, such a great actress, she just plays it so well. So yeah, Lara and Zip do sound like really great friends and not just colleagues. You can tell that they trust each other and yeah, it's very sweet. Oh wait, is this a grapple one? Yeah, it's a grapple one. eyes. Yeah, it's very sad. I once saw a video and, like, the reason, like, she looked, she's looking at the Galali, like, I was very young, this was on YouTube way back in the day. She was like, she's looking at the Galali key and she's reminded of Curtis and the Shiru guy. And I was like, whoa, is that why? No, of course it isn't. <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking? But I was so gullible, I was like, oh, I'll just believe everything, anything you see on YouTube. I'm still quite gullible. Oh, no worries. You're welcome. I truly am a bit of an encyclopedia when it comes to Tomb Raider stuff sometimes. It's a bit sad. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That hurt me. 
I like his sunglasses. He has nice orange sunglasses. Though. Is there another guy up here? Nope. <laughs> I am the Tomb Raider wiki, yeah, it's true. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know, Will, it's actually quite embarrassing that I believe this, this stupid YouTube video. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to play Underworld, you have no idea. I've not played Underworld, I checked in like five years. We've had a whole, whole pandemic and about six Prime Ministers in the UK since I last played Underworld, it's crazy. It is honestly, Tomb Raider Legend is so like cheesy Hollywood nonsense, but I just love it. Okay, how are we doing for secrets? Yeah, not too bad, but I'm trying to remember where all the rest are. I think I've got them all, so... I've... Oh, no, I've... I know I've missed one. Like, I just remembered I have definitely missed a secret. Damn it. Oh, well. Not to worry. I'm sure all I'm missing out on is some stupid character models or something. It's not that important. Oh! My bones have gone numb. My bones have gone numb. Oh god, Lara, get out. Get out of the water. Bloody hell. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh no. Poor endangered species. Get out of my way. Good thing these weren't here last time I came. Oh, Doki. This is really beautiful. Uh huh. Okay. I think there's a secret here, if there is. I can never remember if there's one on this side too. But let's have a look. Nope. Bitch is solid. Let's keep going. I know that these probably... I don't know, actually, no, these games I think did sell well. I know they probably wanted to, like, innovate Tomb Raider so that it was, like, a competitor against, like, the Batman games. But honestly, I would have played and enjoyed and loved about ten different games that played just like this. But no, we have to innovate, and we have to make new games, and we have to be the best competitor at all. The grappling hook? Oh, I don't know. I think it's just a silly icon. I've never given it much thought, actually. It is a bit of a strange design, isn't it, for the grapple, grapple icon, but I don't know. Yes, very convenient. I guess you only had to deal with, like, the cold. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a bit far-fetched for me to believe the nine-year-old Lara was able to survive all of this by herself. It's a bit silly. I've missed two secrets. Oh, how bad of me. But I'm usually quite good. That's not good. 
Oh well. Can't do everything, I suppose. Oh dear. I know you're supposed to do this in a particular order, but I kind of always say fuck it and just do it my way. And it always seems to work out, so... There we go. Come on. Every object here has a symbolic function. Oh, brother. Well, one thing at a time. Oh, I think I have seen. Wait. Have I seen that? It's a great point. Um, Give me a moment, please. I have to look it up again. I'm thinking of a design drawn by Toby Guard, but I could be wrong. I'll have to go on the wiki and find out, because I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I love this cutscene. The music is so epic. Unless they found another way into this monastery, into this part of the monastery. But yes, that's a very good point. Now I suppose it's time to work out how to leave this monastery. How about swinging Excalibur once? Just for the sake of the And now we know how young Arthur became. It is pretty awesome that Lara's artifact on this occasion is a really boss weapon. I'm glad that they did that. It's just a bit cheap that um, Thor's hammer is just the exact same. I think Excalibur is cooler than Thor's hammer. In terms of what it does and the look. Yeah, yeah. Excalibur is cooler than Thor's hammer. Well, the funny thing is, there's like multiple Excaliburs. We call, we're calling it Excalibur, but it's not actually Excalibur. It's just the Arthurian version of I'm gonna need a clear head for this, of the sword. No distractions, please. I don't know. It's like the Arthurian explanation, that's it, of this sword is Excalibur. But obviously we've got this deus in Nepal and there's one in Avalon. Like... Ah, uh, I need to speak to... Potkanka on Twitter because she really, she always knows the the tea on the law. She's the expert. <laughs> I'm just the protege. Kill her. All right, we're on the last level. And we need to be careful. Uh, pick up all of these medkits. Make sure we've got plenty because. They're going to need them. Also, look. Natla Industries. I think that's a really cool Easter egg. I wonder if they knew at the time that they were going to make Natla part of this the next game. I wonder if they knew that. Apparently Amanda's tattoos are supposed to be henna, and that's why she doesn't have them in Underworld. What are you doing? Stay away from there. What I'd like to believe is that the devs forgot to put them on and didn't care enough to fact check. Or I also kind of like to believe that the tattoos are like 
markings that are created by the stone. And she doesn't have the stone in Underworld, and that's why she doesn't have the markings on her, because they haven't grown since she's been using the stone. So, I don't know. Yeah, Amanda and Rutland, or Ramanda. I don't ship it. I really don't. This boss is so irritating to fight on um, PS3. I had such an irritating time playing it. So tell her I'm so sorry. I'm not quite sure what this reference is. I'm so uncultured, it's unreal. Oh, don't push me off, you bastard. I'm getting bullied. I love that pose after I just like stab him. She's just like, she's just chilling. She's just chilling. And I just give him bisexual vibes and you know, I kind of get it. I kind of agree. She does give sapphic energy. Ow. I'm not gonna survive this. That's not good. Hi Kylie, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good night. I hate this fight as well. This is really irritating. And they've nerfed my, um... oh no they haven't. I've got three medkits, that's good. I thought they were gonna take my medkits away, I was gonna be really irritated. It's just a poorly designed boss fight. It's really bad. It's not... It's not, like, that it's challenging, it's just... Like, RNG with his attacks. You can't really predict what he's gonna do. And it's just so much crowd control, it's just super unfair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like... But then again, has combat ever been good in Tomb Raider? No. What the fuck is even going on? Leave me alone. I'm just a pretty Barbie girl in a Barbie world, swinging my sword. Yeah, me too, Charlie. I hate this boss fight. I'm out of medkits, man, and I've still got loads left to do. Oh, crikey. Where's he gone? What am I supposed to do?
But I can't take any damage. She killed herself! She killed herself with the damn sword. This is exactly the shit I was talking about that happened on PS3. I'm not happy. Oh, is it? Oh, it's like a sword from Dark Souls. Ah, oh. Lara did it first. <laughs> is it a powerful sword? Any Tomb Raider location? How do you mean? Like a historical location? I've not been to many historical sites. I've been to London. Oh, God. No true will, I agree. I mean, the Kraken is like spectacle. And that's all that we need from a boss fight. That's fine. Yeah, I can't really name a really good Tomb Raider boss fight. I think Natla from Anniversary. Excuse me, so sorry. Natla from Anniversary is pretty cool. And I like the Centaurs in Anniversary. The T-Rex in Tomb Raider 1 is cool because it's like a Oh my god, what the fuck? kind of moment. But otherwise, yeah, they're kind of lame. I know. Like, you've got to be so quick with this boss fight. It's just not challenging. It's just... stupid. Quickly. Oof, thank God. Okay. Alright, uh, we're off to a good start now. Feeling a bit better. I think we're gonna we're gonna get it on this one. I think the game has discovered that I'm having difficulty and is trying to help me out now. The game knows I'm struggling and is trying to help me out. Let's go. Tomb Raider Legend is over. Um, I haven't really been to too many historical places or countries. Um, I'd love to Lara to go to Italy more. I'd love to for Lara to go to Greece. I'd love to go to. Um, there's lots of European places I think we could do still. I'd like for Lara to go to sort of like um. Some countries in like the Middle East, like Turkey and um, Jordan and places like that, I think could be really cool. Lots of like Persian history, I think, that is untapped that could be really interesting. There's tons of places I could go. GG, thanks, Will. This cutscene is so iconic too. This is one of the most iconic Tomb Raider cutscenes ever. Well, that deserves a video in itself. Most iconic cutscenes. This is definitely up there.
<laughs> the dirt effect. That's so specific. Oh yeah, Athos, that's exactly what I'm thinking as well. Like, Petra would be such an iconic place to go to. And... I don't know much about history in that part of the world. I'd love to learn, so I'd love to see more see more in that sign of kind of location. This cutscene's excellent. I'm wasting my breath. Both voice actresses are just perfect. Excellent performance. Where was the Golden Globe? Where was the Academy Award? Every breath is a gift from me. For years my father believed mother was alive. It was what kept him going. She is dead. Go to the British Museum immediately. Ring me when you get there. Dress in layers. You'll be there a while. Right. I'm off. Zip, call Professor Eddington at the Cavendish Laboratory. Arrange a meeting. Will do. What should I tell him? Oh, just listen to the music. Tell him my father was right about everything. And there may still be time to do something about it. Me too, Athos. She was to tell her. Lara was robbed. Ah, oh, just enjoy this ending credits music. It's just beautiful. Oh. Tomb Raider Legend is excellent. Excellent game. I'd like to believe that a lot of people that were a bit apprehensive about this version of Lara coming from the classics uh, were sold on Lara based on that cutscene alone, because it's just so iconic. It's probably right, yeah. Underworld time. Yes, Charlie, we'll, we'll play Underworld. I don't know exactly when. Don't know if it'll be tomorrow. We'll see how we feel. Uh. <laughs> Will, you're so right. That's so true. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Yeah. I thought I kind of cringed at that part too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, we'll run around Croft Manor just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go to the, let's go to the wardrobe. I love this game. It's just so, um, comforting and it's one of those games, you know how, um, there used to be that show, Desert Island Discs? I feel like this game would be one of my Desert Island games, 100%. Because it's just so comforting and there's just so much to enjoy here. There's so much variety. And even just the manor alone, it's just so much fun. Do I have... There's tons of outfits I don't have. Into orange no coat. kind of like this one. This one's nice. Let's wear pink. Because I'm a Barbie world... Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Sorry. Classic grey. I like this one too. Excellent. Oh, great. <laughs> well, Kiko, we'll, we'll play Underworld soon. 
It'll be more than one stream. It'll be a, a saga, its own saga. But I do, in, I am looking forward to playing, playing Underworld most, most of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I wish Underworld had its own Croft Manor too. I'm a Darby girl in a Darby world. Oh yeah, it would have been cool if there was like an infiltration level. That would be a nice nod to the movies as well, because obviously this manor is based on a movie version. Which manor do people prefer? Do you guys prefer the manor from Tomb Raider Classics 1 to 3, or do you prefer the legend version of the manor? I think the legend version is, is a little less homey, but I think I like it more. I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to say. Hard to say. I think I do prefer this version. Yeah, me too, Zen. Honestly, if they made a whole game based off of the first Tomb Raider movie, that would be so sick. I think that, that movie would work so well as a game. <laughs> Charlie, that's so funny. Honestly. Yeah, every now and then I do watch that trailer. I watched it earlier today and I was like, oh, just so brilliant. Um, Lucas, I don't have a personal Instagram. I've, no, sorry, I've got a personal Instagram. I don't have a, a stream one. If I make one, though, I'll let you know. Oh, you like the anniversary manner the most? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, Satella, you should play the um, remastered trilogy if you haven't got them. I really recommend playing them because I love them. Tomb Raider 3 mana, yeah. Tomb Raider 3 mana is is a nice one. I like that it's a little like warmer and a little more autumnal. I can't wait for your Croft Mana though, Athos. Can't wait to see it. Hmm. I still <laughs> I thought you were going to bed, Rich. <laughs> but yeah, we're um it's been a very long stream. We're nearly five hours. God, this is the longest I've ever gone. So thank you everybody for sticking with me. Oh, it's been such a long one. <laughs> thank you very much. I know, I should have started it earlier. Um, but I was a little bit uh, behind schedule. <laughs> the eyelashes, the broccoli emoji. Shall I put her in a different outfit? Let's put the pink outfit on. I like her little fax machine. Oh my god, look at her with her leg up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've got to use a fax machine at work sometimes and it's like stepping foot into 2002. It's terrible. Oh yeah, 100% Athos, if you've got one. 100%. <laughs> some soothing serotonin well we shan't be on for too much longer because i think i'd like to go to bed myself but i hope i hope the drama wasn't too bad what has what's kept you awake so yeah i think um maybe we'll i don't think i'll bother streaming the croft manor unless you guys are so so keen to see me play Croft Manor in Legend. But we might jump straight into Underworld. I can't promise if it'll be tomorrow. But maybe it will be tomorrow night. I'll have a think about it and I'll I'll tweet about it. So if you do um do follow me on Twitter, you'll see it first. I know. I know, Zen. It's because a fax machine is a little more encrypted and it's not as easily interceptable. So my um company still likes to use them, which is crazy. I'm there clicking it like, <laughs> what am I doing? What bomb am I setting off? Oh my gosh, really rich. Oh, that's awful. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, hope it's going okay. Um, Yeah, we played the whole game. Played the whole game. Let's see what... um. What we're on. 
94% complete. I've only got a couple of secrets to get and a couple time trials. I guess I could do like Croft Manor in time trials. Nah, I don't think I'll bother. I don't think I'll bother streaming it, I can't be asked. We'll jump straight into Underworld, maybe tomorrow or another time. We shall see, we shall see. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we'll wind things down. I think we'll we'll head off now. But thank you everybody so much for joining me. It's been really fun playing Legend. It's such a great game. And it's just so comforting as well. A machine, I know. Look, 3 hours 52, apparently. But I've been streaming for 5 hours, so... Um, I just know this game so well. It's just so easy. Let's watch these. This will, this will be fun. Not the th <laughs> four by three aspect ratio. <laughs> Good night, Charlie. Sleep well. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I enjoyed Legend very much, so it's a great fun game. <laughs> very fun. That one's good too, I like that one. <laughs> oh dear. I think that's my favourite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yikes. 100%. Legend is just pure vibes, you know? That's why we love it so much. So yeah, thank you so much everybody. I'm gonna sign off now. But thank you everyone for joining me and sticking through it, because I know it was such a long stream, so I hope you all enjoyed. Um, it was lovely to, to, to chat to everybody. Um, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. We will catch up again very soon with Tomb Raider Underworld and um, other such things. I'm trying to think about making a video maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll film something, but um, struggling with ideas at the moment. But we'll we'll come up with something. We'll come up with a plan. Oh, honestly, Charlie, I really struggled with the motorbike sections. It wasn't that nice. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Sleep well, enjoy the rest of your evenings, and I'll catch you again some other time, okay? Ciao, take care.